You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet, and welcome to another, another Tad Pog podcast. Oh, posh. Posh, it's a show, it's posh just, Tyler. It's just a little show that happens twice a week where we're two old guys, we, we just play old games. That's all. Yes. <laughs> I'm, let, I'm let tired. Us, let us do the whole episode <laughs> like this, sir. Surely. We can do this for our regular two yeah. hours. <laughs> of course. Here you go, Pauls. Here you go with the axes for the Pauls. Where did you come in from? Down the chimney. <laughs> uh, I'm tired, so accents come out. <laughs> Don't abandon the bit, Tyler. Uh, so, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where did the third gentleman come from? <laughs> Perhaps the fish market. I regenerated Doctor Who style. <laughs> and end scene. scene. Is it end scene or and scene? I've never known that. <sighs> I can see where it's both. I can see where you just say scene, so it's and, and scene, scene. or in, in scene. scene. Directors so, do yeah. directors say in scene, <laughs> and then they clap that board. Yep. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's been it's been a, it's been a busy week for me. Like it's been yeah one week since you. I don't know the rest yeah. of that song. One week since you looked at me. I don't know. We got an extra dramatic reading though. Your next, your next dramatic reading? Or have I done that? I think you, ha- I I think think I have, you done have done that. Yeah, probably. Oh, well. Well, because um, not only, because this week, oh, hey, I'm your bird host, Tyler. Hey, this, Tyler. This week, we've, I'm, oh, we're all out of order. We're just all over the fucking place. I called you Tyler when I was playing British Dave. Oh, okay. So Posh that's British Dave. Channel. Not to be confused with. Posh Dave. Yeah. Posh Dave. <laughs> Another good character. Right. No, I like Judge the, Dave, Posh Dave. <laughs> I like the idea of like Dave boys, you know, instead of like Spice Girls, it's just Dave. It's just Dave boys, and it's like that's posh Dave, that's sporty Dave. <laughs> if anybody out there listening is named Dave and you want to like join the Dave boys, just let me know. Let's remake that. You want to be my lover video with just you as five different characters? Me, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna Eddie Murphy this shit. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's such a good idea. Uh, Six hundred dollar Patreon goal. Uh, JK, because we can't get our shit together to get. And I'll masturbate to your boobs as scary spice in the first like thirty seconds of the video. It's gonna be great. Oh, that's how it ends. <laughs> uh, so this week, by request, well, not request, but what the retro video game of the month club is yeah. doing? Yeah, they're playing this game over there. Yeah. So we are talking about Super Mario Land Three Wario Land. It's a confusing title. Yes, I, I do this a lot. Because some places it's listed as Super Mario Land 3 colon Wario Land, mm-hmm. but it is actually Wario Land colon Super Mario Land 3. Damn. Okay. I know. They're like just putting it right out there. They, Wario's all like flip it and reverse it. Th- yeah. Did you know that Wario is actually Missy Elliott? Yeah, yeah of course. Of course okay. I knew right. that. You knew immediately. Didn't you? Look at him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's not even trying. <laughs> I would love to see Missy Elliott cosplay as Wario <laughs> at Dragon God. Uh, uh, Wario's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get to all that, I'm your beard host, Tyler. And at full disclosure, I did not get to play very much of this game because I got some bad news. You haven't told me any bad news yet. I haven't. It's, I mean, it's not really bad news. It's just uh, I was about to hasty, scold you. It's hasty about, news. I was about to chide you. Because... Uh, Earlier in the week, uh, I got a call from uh, California, Curse, California Coast University telling me, hey, you know that master's degree program you signed up for? Well, you Weird. have to finish a class every six months to still stay, no, no. stay up to date. You hadn't done a class? I started one, and then I was like, it's self-paced. I'll get to it. And then it's always like, it's oh, I'm oh, I'm tired. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, this big program at work's going on. Oh, oh, what's that? <laughs> Oh, I have like two weeks. Okay, well, so in I've been playing it when no. I can, but I've also had to play had to had to play uh, school. So, are you like 
but you're also working a lot right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I didn't get to play. I, I, I suck a decent amount of time, but not. I didn't beat it like you did. Yeah. by any stretch of the imagination. But so it's been a. It's I been barely a, beat it. Let's be. <laughs> let's go ahead and get that right out of the way. I got the worst ending in the game that is possible. You got the birdhouse. Uh, spoilers. Yeah, I got the birdhouse. <laughs> Man, now no, everyone's gonna stop listening and be like, Ah, Dave got uh, the birdhouse. Got the birdhouse. Uh, we figured it out. Oh, tri- uh, tricks on you though. Dave wanted the birdhouse. Oh <laughs> yeah. shit! So he got exactly what he wanted. That's right. So, so the, besides that, also this is the last episode of Tadpog where I will be talking to you with my full essence intact. Your full essence? My full, my full essence. This is, right now is the last time I can be a full-powered shaman. I don't like Because I'm going to get my this. cyborg enhancement to lower my oh, human okay, essence. Good. Thank on. God. I thought you were about to give me some like actually really bad news yeah. and like thought it was going to be like really funny to do it on the mics. And like, I oh, was, no, I know how much you love surprises. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> like I was really... When you were talking about like... You love life changing surprises. Yeah, yeah, I do. You got me. You got me like. Out oh, this bit. is the last Tad Park, by the way. Right, I'm out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you said those words, and I was like, "Excuse me, what is going on? <laughs> you couldn't have told me this. I don't know." Before I drove over here to record, <laughs> if you were to text me, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> If you were, they, they come in all lackluster. I got it in the middle. <laughs> if you had texted me and been like, uh, "This is my last tadpog," I think my reply would have been like, "I'm just gonna go to bed, then, man." <laughs> <laughs> I know. So. <laughs> no, because uh, we're recording this on Tuesday. It'll when it releases, everyone will be here on Wednesday and on Thursday. If they're if they're good listeners, if they're good listeners, if they're the good listeners, if they're you the, listen the, on the Wednesday. Best listeners. If they're not the good listeners, you listen on Wednesday. Um, then they'll probably hear this news on her That's Facebook true. group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I'm gonna. I will have the permanent um, bladder pacemaker installed on Thursday. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Laura, my make that good Shadowrun reference that I'm sure Shadowrun and Cody appreciated. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I appreciated you, it too, you, man. Yeah. I like that. I would totally like go if, see my street doc. Yeah, dude, go see your street doc. Get your pee pee right. <laughs> <laughs> got a robot penis so I can be right oh man that's not all you can do with that I'm very cheap that's all I can do oh I got you yeah, yeah. you got the base yeah. model the very base model yeah. uh, excuse the me the urinator do you, right. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a smaller model <laughs> Liz says she prefers a smaller aluminum penis so really this is for her <laughs> that was that was your Portlandia character yeah sorry <laughs> put a bird on it <laughs> oh uh, that's going on in my life. It's going on in your life, Dave. I've been playing. Hi, I'm Dave. I've been playing Spider Man. Like it's my job. Oh, and so I'm gonna. I'm hoping like my brother's fixing my PS4. Once that is fixed, then I'm going to message Master Mold Michael and I'm gonna be like, getting them and them Spider Man codes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got to got to get a, a God of War code from him. That's amazing and awesome. Thank you so very much. Yeah, you snatched it up like a hungry fucking dog. Because like he sent a <laughs> message to both of us, and it's like I'm usually pretty on my like messenger game, <laughs> but like you were in there. Like yeah. I mean, he he sent a message like anybody want a code for God of War, <laughs> and then I guess Detroit being human, and it's like when I saw that message, I was like, oh, I definitely want one of those games. <laughs> because I know uh, RC AJ has talked about it a lot before. I, I know she wants it too, yeah. but she I mean, she is on that Fallout Three jam hard, and I'm so happy about it. Although she plays very differently than I did, she don't she don't give no fucks about anything. Oh yeah, so like she likes the good dialogue, but man, she'll fucking steal like a motherfucker. She got into uh, what the virtual reality where you're in the old neighborhood or whatever as a kid. Oh yeah, I forget what it's called. Oh yeah, she. Picked up the knife, got the clown mask, and fucking slaughtered everybody. No shit. So, like, the next day I checked on my, hey, let me see your, oh, you're very evil. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad? I mean. It's not good. I mean, you can play it. <laughs> You're, I mean, that's that's totally fine. I mean, it is, it is b- evil is by definition bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I mean, she was neutral for a very long time until yeah. that segment. Oh, until she murdered everybody? Yeah, until she, then suddenly she's evil. But she knew it was virtual reality, right? <laughs> so, I mean, like... That's true. I feel like there's... I don't feel like that should room. affect your karma in that game. I don't but, know. I think if, it's, if the intent is to murder a human... Yeah. Well, if you know, well, t- but I, don't I can't know remember how much if you know. You know how much right? you know. Yeah. I think the player knew going in 
Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. I think the player knew going in because we see our character get into mm-hmm. the virtual reality, the computer bed. Yeah. And um, once the character is in virtual reality, though, that's like I don't think the character remembers. Is that mm-hmm. right? I don't know. Maybe. Welcome to Tadpog. We did an episode over it a long time ago. Try to remember what fall, the plot to Fallout 3 was. A very specific part of Fallout 3. Mm-hmm. That's a really good game. It is. Like, watching her play it, I forgot how much I enjoyed it. Like, just talking about the virtual reality segment, like, Mm -hmm. that makes me, like, think that maybe Fallout 3 is the best Fallout. I mean, the other games don't do anything like that. Yeah, that's true. Overall, my favorite is still New Vegas, but Fallout 3 does have moments that aren't in the others. Like, coming out of the vault and feeling that oh fuck feeling as you look up the wasteland and then that then the in the virtual reality Mm -hmm. but it's also i feel like has the most bullshit ending yeah and it does also have the metro (laughs) which is Mm -hmm. uh horrible for someone like me who like gets lost easily yeah because it's like honestly i think 80 percent of the time in fallout 3 i spent underground (laughs) in a in a tram (laughs) tunnel it's just the red line yeah fuck it's like bad enough when all the lines are painted nice and pristine, mm-hmm. but it's like after like nuclear warfare has gone, it's like, <laughs> uh, all right, I can't. Am I really even expected to read these? It's <laughs> true. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing Spider-Man. Um, it's really good. See, uh, I've heard that. And it's all over Reddit. Like it, it's, it's all our gaming is talking about. It's really good. Yeah. It's it's not like revolutionary. Like it's very. Um, it's pretty much a Batman Arkham game clone. Oh, like, okay. it's pretty much what it is. Like, they're not changing the formula much. Spider-Man is doing Capoeira? Uh, no. Like rhythm battle? I mean, kind of, sort of. Like, okay. the, the combat is very similar very to similar. Batman. Uh, I like, Which makes more sense for Spider-Man. It really does, does because of Spider-Sense and everything. Mm-hmm. It really does. And I remember playing the first time playing um, Batman uh, Arkham Asylum. I remember thinking this combat reminds like this is what it should like this should be Spider Man combat ah. because it is like essentially Spider Sense yeah and that's what you're using in combat in the game in the Spider Man game but it is like um, very very similar to the Arkham games so I can't like give it points for originality but the game itself feels really good the web slinging is yeah. really fun. Like, way more fun than, like, gliding mm-hmm. as Batman in the Arkham games. Um, and it's also more fun because it's New York. It's not Gotham City. It's, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's not always dark and gloomy. There's nighttime. There's dusk. There's daytime. You know what I mean? And I feel like in, at least in Arkham City, it always kind of felt like perpetual overcast I mean, you're night. Batman. Have right. To be. I, have right. To be. I get it. You got to stay to that Every theme. time he leaves a building, it turns into nighttime. That's why he's in the stock exchange during the day, <laughs> walks out, boom, nighttime. <laughs> that's actually, that's mm. actually, did you know that's Batman's superpower? People say he doesn't have a superpower. Gotcha. He does. Yeah. He, you, did, you were you guys paying attention when Batman said, I am the night? He literally is the night. That's very good. That yeah. is his superpower. Makes sense. It's like Storm can control the weather. Batman just controls the night. I love it. Hey, he just makes it night whenever whenever he needs to. Perfect. If if he wants all the restaurants to close and just Taco Bell to be open, he'll just make it night. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, oh, well, if, if the dark night says it, so <laughs> it's like uh, we went from breakfast to fourth meal. Yeah, right. well, literally what he does is actually pick up a phone and call every restaurant and be like, it's night. And they're so scared that they just turn their turn their lights off and go home. <laughs> or he uses his talk boy to be like <laughs> Hey, Mom, we're closing early. I like to think that Batman Batman in the Batcave with all this high-tech equipment is will not take the time to re-record the whole Talkboy commercial. <laughs> he just edits in his voice poorly. <laughs> That's like if Batman did Tadpog Podcast. If they broke, don't fix it. <laughs> or he makes Alfred do it. It's not even his voice. <laughs> hi, kids. Or, hi, kids. It's nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd have done the high kids part better. Hi kids, it's night time. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, what else am I doing? Playing the messenger. I know I talked about that a little uh, what, bit. What I, I've heard you guys talking about. What is it? I have no idea. The messenger is like Ninja Gaiden. It's about Jesus. Uh, was Jesus a messenger? And he had a message. Yeah. Okay. I got, <laughs> all right, yeah. I remember. That just DC seems talk. like what a. Yeah. Uh, well, like a, a Christian movie would be called The Messenger. The Messenger. I think, wasn't there like, 
Kevin, wasn't there a Kevin Costner movie? Was what was that called? Where he's like Pony Express or something like Water that? Waterworld. No, I know he was in Waterworld, <laughs> but I think it was after Waterworld, and I don't think it did well. Maybe it was like post- Field of Dreams. No, no, it was not Field mm. of Dreams. It was um, Robin Hood. No, keep going though. <laughs> Can you name? I dare you to name a Kevin yeah. Costner movie. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. Uh, but there is like a movie that um, Crooked Face Bait. Ah. Of Crooked Face Paint fame. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't think we've ever actually said his name on nope. a regular <laughs> episode. I know we've said that on bonus episodes. So I may edit that out unless you're comfortable with it. No, I'm fine with All it. All right. It's staying in then. Uh, that is like he told me about this movie that he really liked that everyone else hated. That is like I think it's Kevin Costner and it's post-apocalyptic again. Like he didn't learn, I guess, from Waterworld. Mm. Uh, but he's like the postman or something. Maybe the it's po- called. The, maybe the it's the postman. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, the messenger in the messenger, you play as you thought I was. It's David Duchovny. It's actually you thought I was going to say. Oh. You thought I was going to say Kevin Costner, but yeah. no, you play as Dave, David Duchovny. He is a ninja, and um, it's essentially a ninja guiding game. That's oh, essentially okay. it. It's like um, Circle of the Moon. Mm-hmm. But Cas- Cas- but instead of Castlevania, it's Ninja Gaiden. Oh, okay, cool. So that's pretty much the shorthand way to putting it. Yeah. Like it's it plays like um, an old style Ninja Gaiden game, and the big mechanic is like you can double jump only after you hit something with your with your sword. So it's constantly about like finding things to hit so that you can keep jumping mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It's a really fun, really fun platformer. Okay. Sounds Super cool. addictive. Yeah. And it really opens up to like it's pretty linear at first and then it gets like Metroidvania style. So Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through that. Man, I still need to play Dead Cells. Uh, Wait for it to come down a little bit. Yeah. Dead Cells I totally recommend. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I've stopped playing it just uh, it's on pause. Yeah. Because of Wario Land, mm-hmm. Spider Man, and The Messenger. It's a good it's a good threesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, is there a bad threesome? We'll see. Yeah, the answer is yes. Well, it's, it's definitely come, yes. Come to Head Park Prom, we'll find it's out. It's definitely yes. I'm coming for you, Phil. <laughs> yeah, Phil, what, it's only $250 away, something like that, from, from Head Park Prom? Yeah, I think like 270 yeah. So please, please, come on. Throw in, throw in some shekels. Help get Phil there. Yep, you can find that on the Facebook group uh, and also bit.ly slash get Phil to prom. Mm-hmm. Capitalize every, every, the first letter of each word. Be low, link in the show notes. Yeah. I guess we're done. That's pretty much it, yeah. right? Yeah. We talked about how things are going and things that I've been playing. Did we forget to do it? I feel like we might have forgotten to do something, though. Yeah, fuck it. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. Yep. <laughs> you hear that, Dave? Uh, yeah, I do hear that. Mm-hmm. I hear an announcement that Samurai Showdown is getting a new release. Have you seen oh, that? Oh, really? Yeah, no. it really is. No. They're making a new uh, Samurai Showdown game. All right. Uh, a trailer just came out a couple days ago. So um, it looks interesting. Yeah. It, I know it's built in the Unreal Engine, um, but it, from all like the video clips I saw of it, it looked like a 2D fighter just like rendered in 3D. So I don't know. I'm Color me intrigued. Yeah. Oh, I'd, I would definitely want to check it out. Yeah. Um, I'm not really good. It's not at like a day one out. purchase by any means, but I would want to check it out. Fighting, I don't think fighting games are day one purchases for me yeah. anymore. Like after Street Fighter has screwed you so many times. Yeah, Street Fighter has fucked me yeah. so many damn mm-hmm. times, and it's like it's so many times that it's like, yeah, just the genre. I'm just gonna wait until this game is inevitably twenty dollars two weeks later. <laughs> yeah. Street Fighter Five that crashed quick and hard. Yes, I know. I bought that one day one, and then it honestly, dude, it was I think a month later I saw it for twenty dollars on Amazon or something like that, and it was like, Shit. son of a bitch. Yeah, that that sucks real hard. That's like that's like pain you probably haven't felt since you were a kid, saving up buying a game and that game fucking sucking. Yeah, so. but it they it did bounce back. Like they did end up adding a whole bunch of content to it. Yeah. Um, it's still unforgivable that I paid sixty dollars. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, Where it's yeah. like I would have paid, I would have been glad to have paid sixty dollars for the game that it is now. But the fact that I paid sixty dollars for pretty much nothing. Yeah, for an alpha yeah. game, basically. Yeah. Like, oh, this will be. Oh man, I'm glad I bought this. It'll be awesome in six months through a year. Yeah. And then the new Marvel versus Capcom was not good. So. All the shit. Then the. Uh, three different versions of that coming out. You know, right after each other. That also burned me on. Yeah. On. 
And it's triple A fighters at this point are just kind of bullshit. It yeah, like it kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth for the whole the whole genre because it is like with S and K with uh, I'm pretty sure they're developing it, but like Samurai Showdown, it is like yeah, that looks cool, but unless it's twenty dollars. Because yeah. if it's like twenty bucks, maybe even thirty bucks day one, I'll, I might get in on that. Yeah, but sixty bucks, no thank you. Yeah, it's like it's sort of like very few things would be day one purchase for me at all. I'd have to wait a long time to see reviews and be like, oh okay. Yeah. So, but I I do hear that announcement, yeah. which of course ushers in a segment that we like to call Dave reads from Wikipedia. Yeah. Okay, guys, Wario Land colon Super Mario Land three is a platform game developed by Nintendo for the Game Boy in 1994. It is the first video game to feature Wario as both a playable character and the main character. Uh, as you remember, he made his first appearance in Super Mario Land 2 as the gigantic, hideous boss uh, that terrified me. Uh, as well as this is the first appearance of Captain Syrup and her brown sugar pirates. Has she been in more... Games? I think that she was in another Wario game. Um, I think it might have been Wario World for the GameCube, but I'm not positive. Because oh, okay. um, I haven't played... This is honestly... This is the first Wario game that I have played outside of WarioWare. Yeah. Um, God, I fucking love Dude, games. WarioWare was so great. I remember when you bought WarioWare, mm -hmm. and I remember like going into it like, ah, Wario. I'm not a big Wario fan and i remember you being like just watch just look at this and like i fell in love with it immediately because yeah, it's, it's so fucking it's good. bizarre like uh, it is like just these bizarre <laughs> micro games we need to do an episode on mario Fuck yeah we do and it might be this one right now okay, there we go like pokemon go now i love all i've never played a wario game wario wear game i didn't love even like the ones for game boy and shit like or game how boy many Color. were there there's several. I because I I didn't know like there. I figured there were just like two of them. Yeah, I know like, there's there's one for the Wii. There's one for the Wii U, and I think there are two for DS maybe. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that. So good. But anyway, I don't know if the I don't know if the Brown Sugar Pirates and Captain Syrup are in WarioWare at all, but they are definitely in Super Mario Land Three. Uh, they become recurring villains in the Wario Land series. If I would have just read a little bit farther. That's pretty much it. That's like, that's the Wikipedia paragraph yeah. from Dave. Brought to you by Dave. So Dave. Yes. Wario, Wario. Do I have any land. achievements for this game? Yeah, for the way that you, <laughs> like, your tone was very much. Because I, I don't know even where to start time. besides like, I enjoyed this game. What I got to play of it, I, I enjoyed this game. It's very, I don't think it's better than Six Golden Coins, but it is similar to Six Golden Coins with... Enough differences that make it its you know its own thing. I think it's a really weird game. I don't think it's a bad game. I didn't like really super. Uh, this is tough. Mm -hmm. I didn't hate this game. I didn't dislike this game. I didn't love this game. Yeah. I liked this game. Yeah. Um. It's it's a weird one because it is there are a lot of weird things going on here. Things that are new mm -hmm. to me as a gamer, mm -hmm. and I like playing platformers too. And still, this was new to me. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. This game is a platformer. You play as Wario, uh, not Mario. Even though this is a Mar Super Mario Land game, you play as Wario, mm -hmm. and he plays completely different than any other character in a platformer that I've ever played. Yeah, he. Um, and this game falls later in the Mario timeline. Yeah, it has to. It's way like, later. Absolutely has yeah. to. Yeah, I, speaking of the Wario... I mean, honestly, it may be one of the last games in the Mario top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are... Did you know that in the um, 1998 remake of um, Wrecking Crew that they make Form and Spike have, like, a big pink nose and a Wario mustache? Oh, is he supposed to be Waluigi? I feel like I heard that somewhere. I don't know who he's supposed to be, but he, like, he looks... He looks like he could be either Wario... Like, mm -hmm. a weird Wario mm -hmm. or a weird mm -hmm. Waluigi. So I don't know... Sort of like you and I. Yeah. Like, I'm a weird Mario and you're a weird Luigi. I'm a weird Luigi. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty we, much us. We do sort of have a Mario and Luigi aesthetic going on. And you but do I, jump higher than I do. But I'm not tall. Like, that's you're taller than me. Barely. <laughs> Barely. 
Count it. <laughs> yeah, like barely. And it's, I mean, it's noticeable for Mario and Luigi mm-hmm. because it's like one's the tall one, the other one's the short one. <laughs> when you and I are standing next to each other, people are just like, there's two slightly below average height guys. <laughs> and one's chubby. <laughs> Yeah, we're 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 more akin to John Leguizamo and um, fuck, what's his name? That's all you, man. He's dead now, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it, oh, are you saying it doesn't matter? Yeah, no, yeah, no, he did, he's gone. Doesn't matter. That's. I'll give you a minute. He has. Uh, I'll let you figure it out. Uh, who framed Roger Rabbit? Is his great? Is his greatest legacy? Yeah. Who is it? I can't remember. <laughs> It'll come to me much later on. It or, please. I'm not going to say it. Possibly before this recording <laughs> is when it's after it's done. I'm not going to say it, but what, when you do think of it, I definitely want you to eject it from your from your mouth. Okay. No matter I what word no matter what we're in. I will ejaculate his name all Ex- over the place. Excellent. Please tribute tribute this podcast. Like I'm throwing it in Phil's mouth, I'll ejaculate <laughs> it everywhere. So Wario Land. Mm-hmm. You're playing as Wario. Yep. He plays a lot different than Mario, even though he's he huge. Should. Yeah. He should, yeah. He jumps pretty much just like Mario mm-hmm. does in Super Mario Land 2. Other than that, uh, it's very different. Wario can kill enemies by bumping into them. Yep. But he, it, I feel like it is sort of the, which I feel like was a staple when I, I didn't notice it as a kid, but going back and playing Six Golden Coins, like Mario's a little more floaty in that game than he is in pretty much totally. any Mario entry. He's like low gravity, Mario. Yeah, and that's similar here. Yeah, I feel like the jump, their jump felt the same. Mm-hmm. Like Mario's jump and Wario's jump felt the same. It was just weird to see Wario's giant body like effortlessly. <laughs> you know, like he's like like maybe if there was like some exertion or something in like his sprite animation when he jumps, I could buy it more. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it is just like woo. I mean, it is just like it was like that one that GIF of that uh that heavy kid doing a front somersault. I remember that. Like, I don't I'm, think I've seen that. Oh, I'll have to. I'll, I'll put link in, in the show notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll create a link right now. Heavy kid doing front flip. Frank, thank you. Perfect. Heavy kid doing front, front flip. flip. Yep. Okay. Uh, what I actually typed was heavy ed front flip, but you'll probably know I'll what that it. means. Heavy ed front flip. That's my next D and D character. Heavy ed. <laughs> heavy ed. The the gnome illusionist, <laughs> <laughs> who is actually a tiny gnome man. Perfect, but, but projects himself <laughs> as a giant like dude Wario. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just like Wario. Yeah, because when Wario shrinks, he does kind of look like a gnomish Ed Mr. Asner. T. Ed Asner. <laughs> that's not that's not who played Mario. It's not, but I think he looks like Ed Asner. <laughs> when he looks the, like Lou Grant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lou. Mm-hmm. All right, Lou Cage match. Who wins? Lou from Mary Tyler Moore or Louie from Taxi? Oh, I know, right? You pay to see it, though. I feel right? like I feel like Lou Grant's a better a better fighter, but he's not going to be. He's willing. not ruthless. Yeah, he's not going to be dirty like Louie. Louie is gonna like he might. Louie's going for the balls and the eyeballs. Like yeah, like, like Louie might have brought a gun. Like he might have <laughs> like you know he like snuck a snuck gun a in gun his gun ass, in, right? Pulls it out. <laughs> Now I'm just kind of crossing it into Danny DeVito. Yeah, I know. Right. It's always sunny. It's always sunny, yeah, totally. <laughs> you know, I always get those characters, all of his characters mixed up. My ass is loose from all the whores. <laughs> <laughs> but when Wario gets hit in this game, he... Okay, man, this is a tough one. Mm-hmm. Where to start on this one? Mm-hmm. Because it really is. It really, really is. is. Because the game is so different. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't played a game like this. This is how... Okay, this is how this game feels. Kid Chameleon meets Super Mario Brothers 2 with like a dash of Kirby's Adventure. Like that's what this Man. game feels like to me. Because Susan or Kirby's Adventure. Right. A Susalt. A Susan. <laughs> there is like it I'm sure we all remember Kid Chameleon. Mm-hmm. Uh, so well. Where you play as someone who collects masks or hats mm-hmm. and it gives that PJ mask. PJ mask. Mm-hmm. Do you get do you get to watch PJ masks? Is that a thing? I haven't in a while. Yeah. But yeah, Ken was into it for a little bit. Henry was also into it for mm-hmm. a bit. Um I think we're out of it, thankfully. Although he still has PJ Masks pajamas, which we all think is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what I'm wearing, Father. How lame. <laughs> But it is like, in Kid Chameleon, you collect the hats, and they give you different powers. They're essentially power-ups, 
that modify how your character plays. Mm-hmm. Or like when Kirby swallows an enemy and swallows him and gains mm-hmm. that enemy's abilities. That's essentially what's going well, on. With like, well, like a, a, a speck of Team Fortress 2. Just a speck. Oh, yeah. The hat about the hats. <laughs> yeah. That, is that still a thing? Are hats still a thing? And that, Probably. Is that game still I've a thing? Ne- I've never played it. I liked it when it first came out. I was really bad at it, yeah. but I liked it. The aesthetic is really cool. Yeah. I just remember it being like, what, when the the Pyro's backstory or whatever came out, that video of what yeah. the Pyro actually yeah. sees. I remember, I feel like it was huge again after that, and then I haven't heard much from it. Because they released like intros for all of the other classes in the game, mm-hmm. it, but like Pyro. And then it's like that Pyro intro video, the vignette, mm-hmm. came out like, I don't know, man, like, I feel like it was like a year and a half or two years after the game came out or whatever, maybe even longer. Mm-hmm. And it was, I remember seeing it and being like, whoa, they finally did it. All of those vignettes are really, really good. Yeah. And I've heard people are leaving like League of Legends in droves too. So Troubadour Sam, let us know because you're the only League of Legends person that I fucking know. So is that a valid claim or not? I don't think I know anybody who plays. So yeah, please let us know. Mm-hmm. In Wario Land, you yeah. collect hats that mm-hmm. give you special powers. And you get the hats out of like blocks that you would hit as like if you were Mario. Mm-hmm. Blocks with faces, typically. Mm-hmm. So they're not question marks. These blocks ha- are faces, essentially, mm-hmm. with like big bulbous eyes. They're punching eyes. their souls out. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know how in the Super Mario Brothers manual they talk about how Bowser turned all of the mushroom, the people of the Mushroom Kingdom into blocks? Mm-hmm. And then they like Nintendo retcon that. And I was like, nah, that wasn't true. But I do think that is honestly true it's still in true Wario in Land. Yeah, 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 because you can see the eyeballs of the people who have been turned into blocks. Mm-hmm. They're not question marks. They're just like soulless, bulging eyes, <laughs> like sticking out of lightly <laughs> colored uh-huh. blocks. Yeah, like, yeah, it's the look of surprise <laughs> as they're being turned into, oh, you're not going to turn me into a block. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mm. So you murder these block people in uh-huh, order to uh-huh. collect hats. Just smush their brains out. Just like, um, you know, just like the homeless person who yells at two in the morning, uh, you need to kill the block people and get their hats. <laughs> 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 but there are three, there are, okay, there are three different hats. Mm-hmm. Let's go over the hats. Yep. A bull hat. Yep. That's a hat with bull horns on it. Mm-hmm. It allows you to. Literal like bovine horns. Yeah, bovine. It's like loudspeakers. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he's, he's like, voicing his message <laughs> sternly and loud. It's a Kirby power. So. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. Yeah, Wario goes beep, 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 and then everything <laughs> dies. Uh the bull that is a really good. It's a bull hat and it has bull horns on it and what it allows Wario to do is shoulder charge things faster, more powerfully and allows him to butt stomp. Uh, which will stun or kill enemies that are walking. Yeah. So that's really useful. Um, there is this, another hat called the dragon hat. And the dragon hat allows Wario to shoot out a gust of flame. And it lasts for a long time. Mm-hmm. It also works underwater. It's great. Third hat, jet hat. This hat allows Wario to fly in like mm-hmm. a straight line, and it also that flying also works as a shoulder charge. We can like mm-hmm. burst blocks with shoulder charges, so it's kind of cool because unlike Mario, Wario can burst blocks from below and from the side. Mm-hmm. And if he's got the if he's got the bull hat, he can ground pound and potentially bust blocks that yeah. way. So that's kind of neat, you know. I he, watched uh, like. 29 minute speed run of this game where someone just gets the jet hat and just through the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing with the jet hat. It's like totally OP because you can mash the the fly button mm-hmm. and essentially, yeah, just go like. Yeah. You just do an thing. infinitesimal drop every time you do it. Right. But yeah, if you time it just right, you can nearly. They're just going across whole stages. So. So it's very. It's essentially like a. a tiny bit shittier p-wing mm-hmm. is what it is because it's like the p- that's what i would do with the p-wing in super mario brothers 3 yeah. is like all right oh it's the air it's the airship the the airship fleet time to fly over this mm-hmm. entire stage thank you p-wing and I, I never thought i would be into watching it like i am but man i love watching i've gotten to really watching speed runs I really, really yeah enjoy doing it and then i really enjoy the uh summoning salt his youtube channel where he does the like documentary style videos over heavily contested speed runs. Real? I'm not familiar with. Oh, it's, it's called Summoning it's Salt. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. Like he talks about like 
the hundred percent um, Mario sixty four speed runs mm-hmm. and how people have gone back and forth optimizing that, and then the the fastest like the fastest and you collect all the all the stars is like an hour and forty five minutes or some shit, and then the um, one where you can people where they figured out how to basically beat Mario sixty four collecting one star or some shit. Huh. And doing that in like 17 minutes or something. So just breaking, and he goes down through like the Metroid, Super Metroid, and uh, Metroid, all sorts of. It's a, it's a really really good series. He has like 20 videos out, but they're all very very good. Cool. I'll have to check it out. I think you're honestly probably more into speedrunning than I am. Yeah. Like seriously, um, I've watched a few speedruns and I've enjoyed them, uh, and I enjoy the story behind them. Uh, I just I don't know. There's something about. I generally have to if I really love the game, then I'm yeah, interested in the speed. Totally. Run. Like all the Castlevanias and stuff, or those are really, really good to watch yeah. speed runs. Yeah, and I like watching the tool assisted ones too. Yeah, like like especially like tool assisted shooters and stuff like that, where it is just like it's fun to see that game being played like mm-hmm. precise. Any game, you know, like Contra for example, you know, being played precisely, uh, kind of deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, Galaga and all that kind of stuff, where it's just like holy shit, this is like a perfect game. Yeah, of Galaga, so it's neat. Mm. Um, Wario also has kind of a fourth hat. It's just kind of like Super Wario, and uh-huh. um, that's just Big Wario. He's got a pith like helm. A, yeah, like it, but like, like he's going on safari. Yeah, there you go. That's what well, it's called a, pith. a safari hat. Yeah, safari hat is what I. I think it's a pith helm. We kind of got into okay. an argument on Twitch chat about it. Some say pith helmet. Mm-hmm. I say pith helm. Okay. Some yeah, you know I mean some people say I tomato. Say safari some hat. people say toma- <laughs> tomato. Tomato. I say hat that guy in Jumanji was wearing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a Jumanji hat. <laughs> I have imagined you at Disney World like seeing one, getting excited. Uh, Jumanji uh, hat. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, children. <laughs> what year is it? Get it. <laughs> <laughs> huma huma. What year is it? <laughs> I think we should watch Jumanji. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. I've seen the new one. How is the new one? Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's yep, good to not hear. Not at all. I mean, it can't be bad if there's a Jonas Brother in it. Right, oh, man. right. Oh, okay, well, hey, man, I'm glad to hear it was pretty good. Yeah, it was, and anything with Amy Pond in it, so, so yeah, it was pretty good. I get pretty it. Good. You turn into Big Wario mm-hmm. by not eating a mushroom, by eating garlic. Of course, of course. So this is pretty much, I guess, when garlic becomes like part of Wario's part, persona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like it's a thing still. All I, the Wario wears, he's just constantly chomping on smelly, smelly whole garlic. Yes, yeah. And like in Mario Tennis, the most recent Mario Tennis, like when he uses his smash ability, like yeah, he eat like Popeye mm-hmm. eats spinach mm-hmm. before he does something awesome, something violent. <laughs> um, did I say awesome? I meant violent. Uh, Says he break when he breaks maritime law. Uh, when he just oh god, just comes with oh yeah. just just the veil of death that's just <laughs> right behind Bluto's fucking oh, it's just so oh, all right. Uh, but anyway, before he just comes all over <laughs> olive oil, just <laughs> yeah, uh, use coconut oil instead. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, garlic is Wario's spinach. It makes it makes him a big boy. Um, and then the last form is tiny ass Wario, who looks like Mr. T as a gnome. Yeah, because he's got a mohawk, that, yeah. and it's just like, and it's. I'm glad that they kept that because that's how he looks when you defeat him in Super Mario Land uh-huh. 2. Like when he turns from like giant monstrous Wario, he turns into tiny ass alien Mr. Well, T. He looks so weird. He looks really, really. He looks re- really weird when you're playing as that sprite in uh, <laughs> Super Mario Land 3 and Mario Land. So that's pretty much the basics of Wario himself. Yeah, because you're all. It's all about collecting. It's different in that it's all about collecting as many coins as you can. Right. That is very mm-hmm. important. And, and and outside of the the hats, you can also you can throw things. Like you can throw coins and you can throw enemies. Right. That's where the Super Mario Brothers 2 mm-hmm. comes in. Um, and also you can throw keys that you can find, which is very Super Mario Brothers 2. Uh, I'm glad that you brought up that the fact that coins are a big thing in this game because they are literally the drive in the game. Um, you have to collect coins as Wario and treasure. 
That's the whole uh-huh. goal. That's the whole point of the game is essentially this game takes place immediately after Wario has been defeated by Mario mm-hmm. in Super Mario Land 2. And uh, Wario no longer has a castle because he's been kicked out of Mario's. Mm-hmm. And he wants a castle. He wants a castle. And in order to do so, he needs to collect money. He needs to collect treasure. And he has heard that there is a large, solid gold statue of Princess Peach. Like Statue of Liberty size. Exactly. Yeah. And that, he's, he wants to collect that. Um because he needs he needs the scratch. He needs the money. He's got to buy a castle. What's he going to do? And props to Wario for not, like, selling out the job. Like, he's willing to go get his hands dirty and do his own Roll work. up his sleeves. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he does not have any money to pay people at the beginning of the game. That's but true. At, you do think at some point, like the third world, he'd be like, nah, fuck this. Yeah, he's not I'm a, con, pay he's not a con man. He's like, well, I'm going to go get, the, get this fucking shit done. <laughs> just me. But eventually Waluigi, but for now, just me. I do like this Wario voice. Yeah, I do feel... I, this is like Prospector Wario. Like, <laughs> excuse get, me. Get my gold coins. <laughs> excuse me, old man. I have a map. Uh, I have a treasure map. Would you mind taking a look at this for me? Uh, I'm, I'm going to take this map. So I'm going to look at it. I'm oh. going to take, take it from you. Shit. I did not realize you were Wario yeah, until no, I heard no, you talk. It's, it's, no, no, I'm taking you this can, back. No, I've already got it. No, I've no, I'm sorry. It from I have a I'm gun. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we both saw that at the same time. Uh, well, I was waiting for you. That, that was like truly like... That was like cowboy like showdown because it was like I was waiting for you to say I have a gun so I could try to get in there before you. <laughs> uh, welcome to our stupid <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Where we take this one joke from 10 seconds of the office. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoy this show that is kind of about Wario Land. Kind of. No, uh, Bliss and I are watching Jack Ryan on Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. How is how is Pretty Jim? Pretty good. Yeah. I mean, Melissa's able to see him as a different character. I still see a little bit of Jim. Dude, I could not see but... anyone but Jim, man. That's like, um, oh, what's his name? Oh, my God. This is horrible. Um, he was, he played. Rain Wilson? No, 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 no. In the British office. Rain Wilson is the same way, though. In the British <laughs> office, he played Tim. He played uh, Bilbo, oh, or not Bilbo. Yeah. Uh, um, Bilbo, yeah. Yeah, he did play Bilbo. Yeah. I'm sorry, in The Hobbit. I was mm-hmm. thinking of, you know, Bilbo and Watson the Lord and of the Rings. Sherlock. And yeah, what's his name? Mor- so, Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman! Morgan yeah. Freeman. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Yeah, they're brothers. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that joke has never been made. No, ever. In, I cannot see him in anything and. Because I saw him as Tim in the office, like in the way back times. Mm. So it's like every time I see him, it's like it's tough for me to not see Tim yep. from the office, which is weird because he's I mean, like he's super ripped. That helps a little bit. Who Tim or Jim? Jim. Jim. <laughs> but it, so far, it's a it's a good show. So far, we we both really like it. Cool. I don't know much about Jack Ryan. I, I love the supercut where they have mixed together. Jack Ryan and clips from The Office where Dwight is his enemy, <laughs> and it's it's him hunting Dwight. It's really good. It's really good. I want to see that. Yeah. How did we get there? I don't know. <laughs> we were talking about Wario at some point. Wario. Oh, yeah, the Wario, story. For, there you go. So Wario is looking for this huge statue mm-hmm. of Peach, uh, but he catches wind that Mario is doing it as well, uh, and he's looking for treasure on an island. That is full of pirates. The brown sugar pirates. The brown sugar pirates, um, which are like just one step away from the apple dumpling gang. The uh, <laughs> the brown sugar pirates are. You're right. Like <laughs> put put those gangs together, please. Mm. Can we get like mm. a five gangs of New York style? <laughs> like, can we take like I don't know the brown sugar gang, the apple dumpling gang, the cinnamon the, butter gang. Oh, the yeah. little rascals. <laughs> like, and then I don't know Heathcliff and his crew, and just like make a movie out of that. Fuck yeah, I think that'd be pretty yeah. good. It's called the C Team. The C, yeah, the, it is the yeah. C team. Um, the, I'll be honest with you, the story like didn't really seem great to me. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, like I, I like the Mario Wario like rivalry kind mm-hmm. of thing. The pirate thing, I'm not like real into the pirate yeah. aspect of the story. I guess they're probably just like Mario needs treasure. Who has treasure? Oh, pirates. pirates. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I do think it's really cool how like the title screen opens with like Wario actively harassing 
a duck pirate in a tiny ship. Yeah. Like, Wario's, like, <laughs> actively, like, climbing onto the mast. Like, this is my ship. And a, the duck is essentially crying, but not in, like, a sad way, but, like, it's a distress cry mm. that only a duck can do. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things about this game is the music. Really? Because I feel like the music is... It because I feel like they made it very similar to Mario, but made it just like a little bit off, a little bit wrong. Yes. So like, and it honestly feels a little more sinister. Like it has a sort of a darker element to it. I love the ones, the stages like where he is on the. Um, I heard the first time watching you play when he's on the rolling like carts. Yeah, like the mine cart. Yeah. I think that this game is it like Mario music in a just a different key. Like the fart key, like this, yeah. the music is seriously, and I like, I know Wario doesn't have, like, he's not like associated with farts yet, but like this game seriously might have influenced that because I do feel like, what is that, um, God, what is that joke? Is it a, oh, is it, it's on 30 Rock, I think, where whenever she walks, like they play like the farty music. Do you know what I'm talking about? (laughs) That's what it sounded like to me uh, when, like, and I might be getting my shows wrong on that, so I better check myself before Mm, I wreck myself. mm. But that's what Wario Land sounded to me, because it's like, I felt like all the music was like, (laughs) you know, it's just like, all right, I guess this is what we're doing. (laughs) And it's like, yeah, right. (laughs) Mario's getting treasure. I have to jump in here and say that the thing that I did definitely did not sell like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> I think it, that's where, why would I jump to Inspector Gadget? I don't know why you would like <laughs> if if you could explain why you did that would be great because my point is that it did not sell like the it's Inspector like Gadget Claw. theme. Uh, it is the Doctor Claw theme. <laughs> did you know that Doctor Claw was not was Doctor Wario the entire time? Yes. After Wario, um, did you know that Wario stole Dr. Wily's castle? Makes sense. After it didn't work with Mario's mm-hmm. castle, he's like, I'm going to take this castle. I'm going to take a PhD. And then he watched Castle. Do you have a degree in physics? I have a theoretical degree in physics. Done. It's a New Vegas joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that idiot scientist who runs the nuclear power plant. I do not remember that. Mm-hmm. That is a deep cut. <laughs> that is a New Vegas deep, deep cut. cut. Yeah. The money. Mm-hmm. We brought up the money, yep. but we kind of left, left it hanging a little bit. Yep. Uh, the money is super important in this game, obviously, through the story. Mm-hmm. Wario's got to get a castle, but everything in this game costs coins, pretty much. If you get yep. to a checkpoint, if you want to activate it, you have to pay money to mm-hmm. do it. And it comes off of your total. got to pay the troll toll. Yeah, if you want to get in this boy's <laughs> hole. You, uh, that is honestly probably one of the most, the most referenced <laughs> <laughs> Always sunny episodes in my house. Oh like, hell yes, hell that yes. one like really like that yeah, one. Nightman, Dayman, that yeah, one, yeah, no, that's yeah, the fucking episode. Like that one is that one like connected with <laughs> Nikki and I on like a weird level that most television shows can't. <laughs> <laughs> like we were we were referencing that you like, are Nightman and nonsense. Dayman. Yeah, <laughs> totally, one hundred percent. You're Nightman, she's Dayman. Uh, yeah, that's probably yeah. fair. <laughs> <laughs> There is every like so everything in this game costs money. If you want to get if you want to activate a checkpoint, you have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, in order to exit the level, you have to pay ten coins, uh, and then at the end of that, uh, you have the option to gamble your money. Yep. So you take the coins at the very end. Uh, Wario runs around like two stumps, <laughs> and, you know, like doing mm-hmm. gnome shit, running around two stumps. <laughs> and uh, he has the option to go into a stump that allows him to bet money to gain more money mm-hmm. or bet money to gain uh, hearts or one-ups. There are hearts in this game. Mm-hmm. This is where things get a little confusing. There are coins in this game, but they do not do the same shit that coins do in Super Mario Brothers mm. or Mario games in general. Hearts do that in this game. You collect 100 hearts, you get a one-up. Coins are specifically like you are collecting that shit to go into your treasure hoard, so you've got a running total of all of the coins that you've picked up throughout the course of the game. Yep. That The number of coins you have at the end of the game dictate what kind of castle Wario gets at mm-hmm. the end of the game. Yep. I got the birdhouse, as was mentioned earlier. It is the absolute worst yep. possible ending that you because, can get. Because, yeah, when you get to the boss, the final boss is a genie. The pirate queen syrup has a genie. 
that you fight the genie and then and uh, a a good bit of of uh planning or not or cho- making a last minute decision whenever she blows up her whole, whole fortress Wario grabs that genie's lamp leaves with it yes which ultimately that's far better than the statue he's out to get the lamp? Yeah. I guess it depends on how many wishes he gets. Yeah. Which... Or how much money, because this is a, it's a pay-to-play genie. He gets one wish. <laughs> Wario gets, like, one wish, mm-hmm. I feel like. Because when they have this dial... Like, you don't... There is no dialogue, but they're talking to one another, mm-hmm. you know? Like, doing that... Yeah, they're doing that thing. And it's like, the genie holds up one finger, which makes me think, oh, this is a one-wish genie. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it, He's Wario's really a magical realtor. Yeah, yeah, he really... Yeah, Because you still... You still buy it. You, yeah, you do totally still mm. buy the castle. Uh, I, okay, I, I would like to do a little exercise if you mm-hmm, don't mind. Mm-hmm. Close your eyes, please. Envision the genie from uh, Wario Land. Uh-huh. What color is he? <sighs> yeah. He's a white woman. You did, you, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's another oh, office. That's another office, <laughs> right. Yeah, it took me a I feel like we definitely need to... Uh, I go both ways. In one, he's, you didn't go with your heart. He's Caucasian, so is... and the other, he's Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball and Dragon ah, Ball Z. Ah, okay, I could see that because mm. there is a resemblance there. I went blue because blue is default uh, genie, genie color. Yeah, Robin Williams. I hear genie, and I that is. Can l- I open my eyes or am I still? No, imagining? if you could keep them closed, that'd be great. Okay. I really, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. If you, you probably could, don't often see me with my eyes closed when we hang out. I don't. It's pretty. It's actually kind of eerie. Yeah. Uh, but. If you could just like yeah, don't make that face. No, actually, that one works. If <laughs> if you could just imagine everything I say, like if you could just bring up a visual, keep your eyes closed. Mm. Just bring up a visual through with everything I say. Okay. Uh, the genie to me looked like uh, Peter Griffin without the ball chin. Okay. All like one hundred percent. Like a Jay Leno chin. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he had a chin. Okay. I don't think the genie just had no a chin. chin. No chin. Mm-hmm. So he's like Homer. Yeah, kind of like Homer. Okay. Or most of the Simpsons characters. <laughs> name, name a Simpson who has a chin. They exist. Um, the Arnold Schwarzenegger ripoff. What's his name? This is not a good episode for us to say names. You can open your eyes. It's not. Okay. You can open your eyes. All right. Perfect. I missed your face. So good. That's sweet. I didn't expect <laughs> you to say that. Don't expect us to remember any names. That is not. No, it is one hundred. Today is not the day for that. One hundred percent not uh, happening. We are both like I know you're operating on very little sleep. Mm-hmm. So is old Davy Poo. Mm-hmm. Today is the first day I worked my normal hours in a while. McBain and I McBain. Thank you. That's the joke. Because this today I was like it's Tuesday. I want to get out early and go clean and prepare my podcast. She's like okay. <laughs> and this first time I've done it in a while because I worked all weekend. So I didn't want to take any sick days or vacation days, so I worked the weekend, so I've got my floating days off for my surgery. I made the mistake of playing Spider-Man like it was my job on the weekend, mm. which did not give me much rest. <laughs> that game came out on, like, I know people are probably already done with it, mm-hmm. but, like, it came out on Friday, and I'm almost 50% through, like, total game completion, like collectibles and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. For me, that's really fast. For, like, yeah. for me, that's fast. Like, for, like... Dave, 20 years ago, we'd be at 100 percent by now mm. for sure. But Dave, uh, Dave with the three of no year old responsibilities, fame. Yeah, yeah. Years oh ago. God, I love that Dave. <laughs> well, I wish that Dave could come back. Mm-hmm. That'd be pretty sweet. Just, mm-hmm. it's fine though. I mean, I love my family. <laughs> well, did that sound believable? Yeah, enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough to keep them. <laughs> All right, great, excellent. Yeah, if they were, if they were to play this back in court, what, oh, how do you think a judge would feel about that? <laughs> Uh, at this point, uh, he's talking about uh, Peter Griffin Genie. Fast forward <laughs> <laughs> about two minutes. That's when he starts talking bad about us. So, um, I'm about to say, the, but they're I mean, they're bosses in this game too. Don't want to because it's it's not free, it's not free form like six golden coins. You're on a, a path, but you can do things to find secret levels and alter how the how the the map is laid out. Yep, cuz there's an overworld a la Six Golden mm-hmm. Coins or Super Mario World and uh you move Wario on that map and something that I think is really cool is that you can do things in the overworld that alter stages inside the game. So it's mm-hmm. like you cause um and I know you can do that in Super Mario World with like switches and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, like you hit like a red switch and then all of a sudden all the outline uh, yeah, boxes yeah, are now yeah, switches. Yeah. But like in this game, Wario like actually floods a level. Mm-hmm. And it's like you go through the first level and it's not flooded. And then 
by the end of the first level, it it floods. Like the tide comes in after you defeat the first boss, uh, who is essentially a giant hammer brother. Yeah, spiky hammer brother. Yeah, and it's like, uh, except he doesn't throw things. He like he in his shell and slides around. Like, yeah, like the like the yellow invincible yellow shells in Mario World. Where he's just yes, back and forth. absolutely. He reminded me of uh, Koopa Kid. Because, like, you, you know how yeah, they, like, yeah. spin around and come at Mario and you got to jump mm. over it? Like, that's kind of what the fight felt like yep. to me. But instead of, like, him jumping up and then coming straight down, he jumps up and then tries to, like, home in on you. Mm-hmm. And because this game is all about, I, I feel like the hardest thing about this, I found this game to be difficult. A mm-hmm. lot of people don't. A lot of people think this is an easy game. I had a problem with it, a serious problem with it, as far as difficulty goes, because I had it's a... such a departure. You have to relearn how to play this game, because you want to play it like a Mar- exactly like a Mario Right, game. and you can't do that, because it's like you can't jump on every enemy, because part of the game is figuring out which side you can hit an enemy from. Mm-hmm. And I had the hardest fucking problem with that. Remember the hermit crabs were... Yeah, the hermit crabs you can only hit from behind. You can hit it from the back. And yeah, you can. There you go. And uh, there is like, it, what happened is I tried to hit it from the front and I died. And I tried to jump on it and I died. And at that point, it was just like, I'm, not, I'm done. I'm not even going to try to like, maybe I could hit it from the back, but mm. I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> this hermit crab was out of my league. I'm not even going to try. But that is totally how you kill him. Yeah. Uh, you hit them from behind. Uh, it's a cool game mechanic, but it is like, it was murder on me, dude, because it's like more often than not, I wanted to avoid enemies instead of killing them. Mm-hmm. Unless I had like the dragon hat where I could like easily like breathe fire on them or something like that. It was a tough time. I like that dragon hat a lot. I like the dragon hat too, but I think uh, several people who are experienced with the game who are in Twitch chat mm-hmm. say it's like their least favorite hat. And my theory behind that is I think it's I think the dragon hat is a really good hat for people who are n- absolutely new to the game mm-hmm. because it allows them to kill enemies and not worry about whether the enemies are going to hurt them. Yeah. You know, because it, it's like losing shrinking in this game is, hurts so yeah. fucking bad because well, the, some of it's just not shit you can do once you lose once you lose a hat. Right. So. Yeah, cuz I feel like the power-ups, the hats are like pretty scarce mm-hmm. in the in the levels compared to like I don't know mushrooms in Super Mario Brothers. They always those seem like readily available for the most part, but like very stingy with the hats in Wario Land, mm-hmm. I think. Hmm. Uh, so that's the first level is Rice Beach. That's where you yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. That's where you fight the turtle, mm-hmm. the Hammer Brother. Uh, then you go on to. Um, I love the overworld map. I think it's done it very good, well, yeah. and it's all like uh, food theme, kitchen mm-hmm. themed, which is which is fun. Uh, you go to Mount Teapot, mm-hmm. which I mistakenly read as Mister Teapot. And thought for the whole time that it was um, like a Dungeon Man kind of scenario. <laughs> like, I literally thought you were going to fight Mr. Teapot, like, at the end. Like, I thought the mountain was, the teapot was going to come to life. Because it's a mountain that looks like a teapot. <laughs> mountain teapot. I thought it was going to come to life and you had to fight it. Uh, that is uh, not the case. You fight a big bull, a big minotaur. And uh, this is where it gets a little tricky because you have to, uh, the minotaur will charge at you. And you have to dodge the charge, and then you have to pick up the Minotaur and throw him into lava. And this is tough for me because it's like it's just like Perseus did. I yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I come from I come from a world where you do not touch bosses. Like you just don't <laughs> do it. You don't. T- I mean, professionally, the world of human resources. Yeah, so you, you never just, touch you a don't boss. Touch your boss. Rule number one: <laughs> don't touch a boss. They taught me that in professional practices. Uh, but like, w- how often do you touch a boss in a platformer? Like, hmm. Well, I mean, outside of jumping on their heads. Uh, yeah. I mean, just like going up and like touching them. Yeah, just not, touching them. No, no, not that, I, That's not shit that I do. Like, no. I feel like normally when I play platformers, I'm playing like keep away, where it's just like, mm-hmm. don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Yeah, throw these bombs, throw these blocks. Right. Yeah. But this is different because Have it is. Have your whip, throw a dagger, throw a cross. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. But this is like totally different because a lot of times when you're fighting bosses, you have to like. You, you have to, like, get in their space. Like, grapple that boss. You got to grapple that boss. So that's how you deal with the Minotaur. Mm-hmm. You just pick his ass up and throw him in. Mm-hmm. Um, very strange. Uh, then you go on to uh, 
Sherbet land. Mm. You go into Sherbet thank land. Thank you. Thank you for saying it correctly. You're welcome. I normally say Sherbert, but I, since I'm doing a podcast right now, I figured I'd say it the right way. Sherbet. Sherbet. Yeah, Sherbet. You're right. That's, I get, get in a, that fight with my kids all the time. <laughs> Which side are you on? Sherbet. Okay. I wasn't sure if you were like I, I, trolling I could me. See, I could see the word. There's no There's R no in R it. There's no R in it. Uh, it's Sherbet. It's yeah, Sher- Sherbet. 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 <laughs> Je suis la jeune fille. There is in uh, Sh- Sherbet Land is essentially the ice world mm-hmm. of of Wario Land, and the end boss here is probably the weirdest one. It is a giant demon head, an oni head, mm-hmm. who sticks out his oh with the boogers tongue, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. yeah, he blows snot rockets at you, yeah, and you have to let the snot rocket hit the floor and bounce once, and then you have to catch it and throw it at him. Yeah, it's it's too hot until it touches the ground. That hot snot. It's hot. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, you had that one loaded in the chamber, ready yeah. to roll. <laughs> but I think that um, while the bosses are kind of kind of frustrating, I really I do think they're super creative, mm-hmm. and I like that. Mm-hmm. So like that is like. One in the yeah, pro it's a very Wario Wear boss. Yeah, uh, yeah, the floating totally. Pirate head with snot. Uh, then you move on from that, and you go to uh, Stove Canyon, where you fight a. Um, oh God, I got these out of order. I'm so sorry. Um, Stove Canyon, I believe, is actually where you fight the Minotaur. Uh, you then go on to SS Teacup, and you go That's on the ghost. It. Parsley Woods is the ghost. Parsley, we okay. done fucking goofed. I fucking goofed, <laughs> and we got us all off. Um, there is a ghost That's fight. That's where I went on my tangent about not enjoying parsley when I was watching your right <laughs> your Twitch stream. Right. Uh, there. Yes, in Parsley Woods, you fight a big ghost who has a clutch purse that it throws a coin at you, and then the coin turns into a ghost, and the ghost stabs you. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> convoluted, uh, but like if you touch the ghost. You don't get hurt, but you do get super scared. Uh, <laughs> Wario like starts shaking. He's paralyzed essentially. Um, so I don't know if you're actually fighting a ghost or a ghast, but mm. you are totally like stunned or paralyzed for a few seconds. Yeah, gas do paralyze, right? And uh, am I remembering that correctly? Do they do they gas do gas or do they power drain? They don't drain, do they? I don't remember. Or do don't ability remember. damage. I just remember, oh um, god. Ghouls. Did ghouls paralyzed. Oh, we're so we're so out of shape. Yeah, yeah. We're so out of D and D shape. Yeah. Well we're at Morgs. Three, we're at a three point five. Morgs, Morgs paralyzed definitely paralyzed with their, for sure. Their tongues. And I think whites. I think they whites drain. drain. I know yeah, whites drain. Whites drain. All right, well. <laughs> Oops. I thought this was gonna be a cool bit where we showed off D and D knowledge and then everything disintegrated. Yeah, womp, womp. We can't okay. Disclaimer, we can't name actors on this episode or D&D monsters. <laughs> or 3.5. You know that, that edition we played in college? The very monsters. specific edition yeah. of Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, That's that very we, different from the current edition. Right. Mm-hmm. That we have most recently played. Do you have any achievements? Yeah, I do have achievements. <laughs> All right. I do want to say, before we get into the achievements, um, I want to say something that is absolutely brutal about this game. Mm-hmm. When you game over... You lose half of your treasure. So you lose half of your money, and then if you've collected any special treasures, which you need special treasures to get Get the best ending. Yeah, your Mm -hmm. heavenly treasures. Mm -hmm. uh, You give them to the messenger, and then he takes them to God. The messenger is Jesus, if you remember Uh, correctly. uh Yeah. And then God uh, appraises the treasure. And then, I remember the New Testament. I know. I know. I know what happens. It's the New the <laughs> Testament. Testament New. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if God approves, then uh, you get in. Mm-hmm. You got to give him the treasure, but you do get in. Yeah. So, I mean, got to kind of pay the toll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in this metaphor, God is the genie. Yeah. The genie is the god of Wario Land. Yeah. You get to give him treasures, and then he decides what kind of house you live in forever. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's... You live in a birdhouse. Yeah, Wario actually, Mario killed Wario, and this is him trying to see what kind of house he gets in heaven. It's all a test. Yeah, yeah it's an experiment. It's a Skinner box, essentially. <laughs> Mario's like, let's fuck with Wario. <laughs> this guy looks like he's got it pretty rough. Let's fuck with him. Yeah. 
Yeah, this guy that's he's a fucking only different. It's fine. Oh, also Mario totally gets the statue of Princess Peach at the end. Oh yeah. He just swoops yeah. it in a helicopter. Yeah, po- just takes pokey it style right and just away. snatches it right up. Yeah. Out. So good on you. Good on you, Mario. <laughs> But when you game over, you lose half of your money Mm -hmm. and a random treasure or treasures. Those treasures are seriously a pain in the ass to get. Remember how I mentioned keys earlier? Mm -hmm. You have to find a key, and then you have to find a skull door that matches with that key. Mm -hmm. And once you get in there, there is a giant treasure coffer that you can only open if you are not small Wario. Yeah. So there are a lot of factors in play here in order for you to get a treasure. Uh, And I feel like they're really hard to get. They're the big secrets of the game. Right. They are the big secrets because you do need all of them to get the best ending of the Mm -hmm. game, which is instead of getting a birdhouse, have you seen the best ending? I've seen all the endings. This is the best ending. You essentially get planet Earth. Yeah. (laughs) The genie is like, okay. And then Wario ascends, literally ascends. And then he's in outer space, and then you see planet Earth, and uh, you see his face planet appear on Worth. Up. Worth. <laughs> <laughs> you see planet Worth, and then Wario's face appears on it as if uh, Chair Face had just etched Wario's yeah, exactly. face onto the Earth. Chair Face is on the moon. He's <laughs> shooting one back. Because <laughs> you go from a birdhouse to like a tree stump to a log cabin to a pagoda to a castle to a planet. Yes. So... And the 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 worst ending is a birdhouse. The tree trunk is not far off uh, yeah. from that. I feel like Mario just kind of everything else he seems kind of happy about. He gets but it's very not sad. the treehouse or the tree or the birdhouse of the treehouse. He gets very very sad. Uh, there's also um, the bonus games I did talk about, but I didn't talk about how you play them. Mm. Like when you gamble your money for more money after completing a level, you get to choose two buckets. It's a very basic game. You choose two buckets. You go they're they're suspended from the ceiling. You go over to the bucket and you pull a chain to to tip it. Mm-hmm. And there's either a big bag of money in the bucket mm-hmm. or a ten ton weight. That will come and smash Both of you, which should hurt you. Make you flat. Yeah, they'll probably mm. hurt you. Although I do think that Wario like has Scrooge McDuck abilities where he's like immune oh, to immune coins. To yeah. Yeah. Okay. That oh man, how about that crossover? A little <laughs> Wario DuckTales crossover. That would be good. Yeah. That would be good. Where Wario like savagely murders the Beagle Boys. I mean, whenever <laughs> Disney inevitably buys Nintendo. Yeah, it could happen. I think it will happen. I think Nintendo is on brand for Disney. They'll eventually buy Nintendo. Oh, I think they're definitely on brand for yeah. Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. I'm calling I'm calling oh, now in my life. Call it in, in my your lifetime. lifetime. Mm-hmm. Well, you never know. Distendo. Ugh, I don't like mm-hmm. that. That just made me feel bad. Oh, yeah. But then you could also have a Tingle Tinkerbell crossover. I'm sure everyone would love that. Oh, that's true. <laughs> God, I want to watch them fuck. <laughs> So good. <laughs> yeah. They should actually just splice in. There should be a delivery. I want Tinkerbell with a trap a strap on just pegging the <laughs> shit out of Tingle. His cheek his cheeks get all flush. Mm-hmm. It's hot. It's hot. They should intersplice um video footage from Jeff Goldblum's The Fly. <laughs> <laughs> just like this is what happens when these two characters make a baby. <laughs> mm. You get them got them Chivos. I do have some achievements, but I did definitely want to talk about the mini games. Oh, sorry. I thought you, yeah. <laughs> there, uh, well, there's a pause. It's like, oh, achievements now? <laughs> no, it's all good. We just got on a little Tinkerbell tangent. That's true. Sometimes that happens. One of the best. Tinkerbell tangent. There, the second mini game, mini game is where you can wager money for hearts or one-ups, and this is a weird total departure like they actually like this feels like a mini game that would be in like Mario Party or something like it's mm-hmm. that it's that involved the object is you you throw bombs over a river and you have to do it like it, uh, golf video game style where there's a power <laughs> bar that fills up and you yeah. have to like oh, press it to get the right power and then you have to 
lead the bomb and throw it at an enemy uh, who is moving back and forth like a shooting gallery. Mm -hmm. And you've got a limited amount of time to do it. And uh, if you hit the enemy, you get uh, an okay. You got good. And then the count up, the okay, the goods at the end. And depending on how well you did, you either get a heart or you get a one up or three up or so on and so Mm -hmm. forth. And you can pay more money to get a better. It's if you pay more money, the game is harder. The mini game is harder, but the rewards are much better. Mm. Like you can get a bunch of one ups by spending a hundred coins if you're really good at the mini game, which is very difficult. Yeah, I was about to say. It is very, very difficult, especially like because it's like essentially the first time you play it, you are paying to learn how to play the game. And then the second time you pay it, you are also paying to learn the game. And then the third yeah. time you pay it, you're still <laughs> learning how to do it. Well, that's how I feel playing Nintendo Dogs with Kenna. Like she loves playing Nintendo Dogs. I've never played Nintendo Dogs. Oh man. She l- loves it. And like she wants to go buy like a cat or another dog and they're super fucking expensive in game. So you have to do competitions. The only one we can do right now is the the Frisbee competition. And it is so fucking hard for your little ass dog to catch a frisbee. <laughs> and, you know, the further you throw it, the more points you get, the less likely they're going to get it. So, like, I'm I'm getting, like, two points a game, and the other AI is, like, 20, <laughs> 25 points. I love, I actually love thinking about you getting your ass destroyed in Nintendo. Destroyed. And Kenneth's like, Daddy, I want to buy a puppy. Like, I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. You got a pug? Play with your pug. <laughs> Nintendo dogs. Shame on Nintendo dogs humiliating you in front of your daughter. I know. I know. What it. the fuck, Nintendo dogs? <laughs> I'm much better at Cooking Mama, which she also enjoys. Cooking Mama's a good ass game. Because we'll play and then, like, randomly she'll go, better than Mama. <laughs> <laughs> So waka waka, we're one hundred percent doing an episode with Kenna about Nintendo Dogs, right? Love it, All perfect, right. great. Mm-hmm. Since we haven't got our asses in gear to get the Patreon Garfield board game episode going, <laughs> I think we should probably just go ahead and do Nintendo Dogs with Kenna as our Patreon episode <laughs> for this month. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> Uh, she it is like one hundred percent okay to swear a lot in front of her, right? Oh yeah, okay, great. She loves it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, she she thrives on it. Like that one time she was in the back seat and somebody cut me off. I went ah dickhead. Yeah, and she in the back seat. Dickhead. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Henry has ha- has said shit once from a very similar situation. Nikki was in the car and she let it slip. And yeah, and you said she was day man. <laughs> she's she's well, no, I am Nightman. I, I I'm like Batman's second butler, Nightman. He is the night, I am the nightman. <laughs> uh there is like she said shit, and Henry was just in the back and said shit, and then neither of us said anything about it. And like he just went on and I was like, All right, thankfully he will forget that because like we didn't react at all. I feel like if we'd have been like, oh, my God, then he would have been like, ah, this is the key. See, that's the uh, <laughs> the other day Anna was watching, um, I'm sorry, Brady Jr., whoops, um, was watching a right, video right. on her phone, watching like an old Vine compilation. And the video was like a kid comes in, mom, I have something to tell you, what, son? And the kid does like a robot dancing breakdown. I had an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> and she plays that and she laughs at it and Kenneth goes, Oh no! Abortion? Oh no! And then she goes, "No, no, don't say that." As soon as she said that, oh, yeah. Kenna's eyes fucking lit up. Oh, she yeah. just went, "Abortion! Abortion! 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 Abortion!" We good? We good on levels? Yeah, we're good. Okay. I'm just noting the time in case you want me to take out. Oh no, that's fine. All right. Okay. Great. No, that's fine. All right. Never mind. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Cool. Now you're not allowed to take that back. Nope. I'm not. Okay. It's not, it's not, <laughs> Yeah, unless unless I have to ask you to edit that out. Because now that I've said it's okay, I'd have to edit that out to edit the other thing out. It'd the, be, it's a domino. The domino la- effect effect. The last time you asked me to edit something out after I had edited, it was <laughs> like I felt like such a dick. But it was one of those where it's like, dude, can we? is there any possible way we can just let that roll? Because I am in no condition to edit that out right now. Like if I try to do it, there's not going to be I'm an episode. I'm hovering outside a vagina. <laughs> right. I do not want to do that. <laughs> There are a lot of factors in play. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. I've talked about, I think I've talked about all the things yeah. Mario Land that I wanted to talk about. Okay. So now I can do achievements. Achievements. All right. We got some achievements. First achievement. All of these are coming from Twitch chat, except for the last one, because I wanted one uh, that none of you Twitch chatters came up with. So mm, mm. there we go. I'm throwing my hat into the gladiatorial achievement ring. Oh, damn. First achievement comes from Faceful of Alien Wing Wong. 
Wall Street Kid. And in order to unlock Wall Street Kid, I chose it because of the name. I was like, <laughs> ah, clever. Uh, collect all the coins in the game and be a greedy fuck. So essentially just mm. be Wario. Yeah. Second achievement, coming from Bovine Bear. It's not the size of your Wario that counts. In order to unlock, it's not the size of your Wario that counts. Uh, you need to complete a level using only little Wario, Ooh. which is at times impossible. Yep. Because much like in a Kirby game, you need to have specific abilities mm-hmm. to get through certain parts of the, the stage. Yeah. Um, number three I got coming in from Edgelord Kyle. Uh, now, this came in in text format, so I do not know if this was how it was intended to be said but the achievement is money 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 i think money Money. in order to unlock money 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 you need to uh keep winning in the bonus mini game until you get 999 coins i didn't explain that mini game very well the bucket game where Mm -hmm. you tip the bucket and money falls on you or an anvil falls Mm -hmm. on you because i went on a weird scrooge mcduck tangent that took us to crazy places (laughs) um you can pull just like a duck's vagina. Just like a goddamn duck's <laughs> vagina. You know it. That's how we roll. That's actually our Twitter bio. Just says just like a duck's a vagina. A podcast just like a duck's <laughs> vagina. If we ever get a, a legit studio, like a building, I want that on the fucking front. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, With an anatomical model right underneath it. <laughs> okay, sign maker. This is what I need. Now bear with me. Have you ever seen a duck's vagina? I got this duck here. I'm gonna split in half with my <laughs> bare hands. Her name is Maybelline. I don't know why I named her that, but I just feel like before I dissect a duck with my bare hands in front of another human, I need to name it. <laughs> so, yeah, so maybe. Maybe it's maybe Maybelline. It's born rip. With Let's see if you were born with it. You can pl- you can pull three buckets. And each time you pull it, if you pull a weight, you take the number of coins you had at the end of the level and you have it. If you pull gold coins, if you pull a money bag, you double the gold that you have. So it is feasible to get 999 coins Mm -hmm. during a mini game. It is also feasible to get three coins (laughs) because I have a gambling addiction. (laughs) Dude, in video games, like the casino in um, The Legend of Zelda, the Mm, hidden casino, dude, like I burned through all of my resources there because it's just like, well, it's fake money. One more game. One more game. That's good. We look at it. It's fake money. So that yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but it's like it was just like that in Wario Land, where it's like, oh man, I shouldn't do this because I'm gonna get a bad ending because I'm literally just like coming out of each level with like three or six coins because I keep lose. I keep getting hit by a damn weight. Mm-hmm. As far as as far as I know, there is no way to tell. Like it is just a fifty percent like coin flip. As it should be. But. I think there's a pattern if we start looking uh, close. Because okay. I, what I noticed is... No whammies, no whammies. No wha- so, yes, yeah. exactly. We can game it. What I noticed is sometimes when I pulled the right bucket, the, the bucket on the right side, and I got money, I had a good chance to get money again if I pulled from the right bucket mm-hmm. and then go to the left bucket and I'd get money. Sometimes that pattern worked. Uh, so I don't feel like it's, I honestly don't feel like it's randomly generated. I feel like there are patterns yeah, there that are, like are randomly generated. That you probably, yeah. Exactly. Like the gaming, I don't know if you ever game the Super Mario Brothers 3 like mini games, like the memory and stuff like that. Oh. Like, cause all those are set. Those aren't randomly gotcha. generated. If you memorize, oh, okay, a coin, if the coin card is here, I know so this. You know which way. Yeah, oh, I gotcha. know where all the cards are, yep. kind of deal. Yeah. Nikki, that Nikki and I bonded over that because it's like, <laughs> oh, you count cards in Super Mario Brothers 3 as well? That's neat. Mm. I never thought I'd meet somebody. <laughs> Let's have a baby together. Done. <laughs> Done. Let's have a baby together many, many years later. <laughs> Once I decide after we've been together for 10 years. We'll that- flip over this coin or flip over this card, however, what number it is, how many years <laughs> we wait before we have a baby. Did you know that's how I proposed to her through <laughs> Mario cards? It's, oh, God, I wish. That would have been, like, the sweetest and best thing, but I am not a sweet husband, so, like... Will you be my flip queen? (laughs) (laughs) Will you be my mushroom? What? (laughs) Wait, wait, I'm sorry, wait. Can you come back? Can you leave and come back? (laughs) Let's start over. Shut up, shut up. I was about to propose to you. Oh, damn it, I fucked it up. You want to get married or not? Shut the fuck up. Do you want to get married or not? (laughs) That's how my wedding proposal ended. (laughs) (laughs) 
I have a name for that achievement. Uh, the alternative name to the money, 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 money. money. Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're a good sport. Yeah. Uh, in my ultimate well, my name. My dad called me. Your dad called you a good sport? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> I was a sore loser as a kid, and it translated into adulthood. Uh, I don't. You strike me as a good as a good loser. Though. I generally don't care. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I lost. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Can I tell you that whenever? I, okay, I have a secret. Okay, this mm-hmm. is like deep. This is like deep dark shit. Mm, okay. This is like shit I don't share. Mm-hmm. This is therapy shit. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I, when I'm at Dragon Con, I want to wait as long as possible to play a board game because when I lose a board game for the first time, like it alters, Trips over. It <laughs> alters my day. <laughs> like it is just like, ah, fuck. <laughs> but what I learned at this last Dragon Con is what I have to do is when I, I can't just play a board game and then go do something else. Mm-hmm. What I have to do is just like keep playing till you win, keep playing until mm-hmm. it doesn't matter anymore. I was about to say, cause if anybody hears this, they might just let you win. So you stay in a good place. I don't want that. Well, Nicole would never let that happen. So don't worry. Yeah. About thank it. God. Cause I everybody don't else could do that. But Nicole's be like, no, fuck that. No, 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 no. Fuck that. And I get that. Cause I would mm-hmm. be that person too, where it's like, no, we're going to do this by the fucking mm-hmm. rules. But see, what's all, what always throws me off at Dragon Con is I'm usually playing a board game that I don't know how to play. Like, I'm just learning. Mm-hmm. And it's like I will do something really, really dumb and then be like, oh, I didn't know that that was a rule. And then it's like I cannot get over it. Like, I just, like, obsess over it. And I'm like, everyone thinks I'm a fucking idiot because, like, <laughs> I, I moved four spaces when it was optimal to move three. And it like gets it. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. I wish everyone could have seen your you, – that was a – you pulled a gym face. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that is like totally like one of those things. So mm-hmm. it's like I just got to drown myself in it and then it doesn't matter anymore. Mm-hmm. I wish I had your ability to be like the normal thing where it's like <laughs> this thing has no impact on my life whatsoever. <laughs> my alternate name to that achievement is Mo Money, Mo Money, Mo Money. Nice. Which what I'm trying to say is Edgeward Kyle, that should have been the name of the achievement. Mm-hmm. Fourth achievement. <laughs> it's a pretty pretty to the point uh, from uh, Error 404 Lord Paul Pig. Teabag yourself. <laughs> and then, All right. In order, in order to unlock teabag yourself, you got to put on the dragon hat because the power-up icon for the dragon hat uh, 100% looks like a gesticulating dick and balls. Perfect. Like it, Love it. One hundred, like it is like you know, uh, Mr. DNA from Jurassic Park mm-hmm. personifies DNA, like cartoonishly. If we needed a cartoonish manifestation of males' genitals, then this is what the, it's the it's this <laughs> power up. Like I do not know how that got through without mm-hmm. somebody being like, "Does that look like uh, like if Mr. DNA was cock and balls?" Yeah, that's that's how we designed it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Fine then. Check that box. <laughs> Print it. Last achievement comes from from me. Damn it. This goes to uh, impresario Tony. Uh, make a little birdhouse in your soul. Uh, in order to mm. unlock, make a little birdhouse in your soul. You need to get the worst ending in the game. Nice. Tyler. Yes. Yes, Dave. Do you have any achievements for this game? I do. I have four. Also, do you like the weird episode that we've done so far? Yeah, it is kind of. So it is I mean, kind of. It's, it's the Y episode. It's the weird one. Oh, that's our yeah. that's our out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's planned the whole time. Excellent. Just like that Thanksgiving episode a few years ago. Yeah, all planned. One hundred percent planned. Uh, my first one is charity, and you unlock that by finishing it with no coins. Are these all going to be virtues? No. Oh damn! Just that, just oh that man! Just that okay, one. I got really excited. Finish it with no coins. Finish it with no coins. With no coins. Interesting. Okay. Uh, see, a penny saved is a penny earned. Ah. You unlock that by never getting a checkpoint. You just save, save that coin. Okay, cool. Then I have Setzer Gabbiani. You do that by successfully gambling a thousand times. <laughs> Brian Setzer Gabbiani Brian Setzer. band. <laughs> Orchestra, sorry. <laughs> and then my last one is GP Rain. You unlock that by throwing 10,000 coins. Excellent. I like yeah. that. That's a really good. That's I actually hate. a really good set of yeah. achievements. What what Twitch chat did you get those out of? That's really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I just had all I had all the girls just throw achievements at me. <laughs> that's what we do. You play the game. You know, yeah. I, that's... I'll have them watch your stream and tell them it's Markiplier, <laughs> and they just start they just start throwing them out. Look, kids, it's weird Markiplier. Every time they're watching, they're like, "Hey, tell them it looks like Markiplier." <laughs> <laughs> you begrudgingly. <laughs> They say you look like uh, I've Markiplier. done it twice now. <laughs> I'm not going to do it anymore. 
I know Dave no. well enough. If I do it one more time, then it's going to be a thing. Yep. He's gonna, it's going to be in his head, and he's going to be mad about it. So I'm not going to say that again. <laughs> you know me very well. I wouldn't get mad about it. I would just start feeling bad about it. Like I would. Be, I already do it. Like where it's like, man, I hate it. You know this, and I've said this on the show before. I hate it when someone says I look like somebody, and <laughs> yep. it's just like. Don't please don't do that. It's like <laughs> it is essentially the same thing as going up to a woman and being like, "How oh how when's the baby due?" <laughs> like it is one hundred percent the same thing because it's like it's not cool to go up to somebody and be like, "That's why that's why I cringed when uh when it was brought up that it was mentioned that Paul Piggs lo- he should that he looked like uh Nick Frost." Because it's like, man, don't don't tell somebody they look like somebody. It's like just which for the record, I kind I guess I kinda see the resemblance, but not yeah. like major. But it's like that is I don't know. I don't like it. It's the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. Nothing against Markiplier. He's he does he does pretty well. I got messages from uh Sean Barry this weekend yeah. where he was wearing his Tadpog shirt out. Yeah. And people thought yeah. he was the guy on the shirt. Yeah. He's he made, so, he so then I got that. videos of him and his uh I'm, I'm Imagine his girlfriend, maybe his wife, I'm not sure. Uh, his significant other saying, hey, we're just out here hanging out with Tyler from Tadpog. <laughs> so he's on to him, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> uh, do you have any more achievements? I don't have any more ch- achievements, but I do have a series of questions. You have a series of questions? A, a quiz? questions. A quiz. A quiz, if you will. Do it up. All right. So, since we have Mario and Wario, what I have here is an evil twins quiz. I'm going to hope the dog starts barking so I can concentrate <laughs> because she's just going to keep barking. <laughs> That's okay. I can't concentrate either because what I realized is as we're recording this, I am rapidly running out of storage on the hard drive. Oh. So it's fine. I'm just deleting files as we record. It's no big deal. It's going to be fine. Okay. First question. Willow had an evil gay vampire twin in this series. Uh, that would be Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Buffy is correct. All right. Excellent. Number two, the mirror universe uses beards to denote evil in this series. Uses beer? Beards. Beards. Or goatees. Oh, S- Star Trek. Star Trek is yeah. correct. Thank you for tell- saying goatees, because I would not have gotten there <laughs> otherwise. This Futurama character has a, tr- has a twin from a different universe, where the only difference is his golden hue. Bender? Bender is correct. All right. That was... That was an educated guess. I do not remember that. They had the alternate universe where all coin tosses come out the came out the opposite result. Ah, uh, right, 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 right. Oh, yes, yeah. okay. This shows uh, evil genie wore green instead of pink. This shows evil genie. Mm-hmm. What show had a good genie on mm-hmm. it? Uh, genie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it had a green or genie that wore green. Mm-hmm. It was a TV show. Mm-hmm. Was it animated? Nope. I'm kind of cheating here asking for him. That's okay. I should, should I know this? I feel like I should, but I don't. You, you'll go oh, after you know really? what it is. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what is it? I Dream of Genie. Yeah, okay. Where there was the, the evil Genie who, wore, who was a brunette that wore green. Oh, exact she's, same outfit. She sounds better already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, yep. She sounds better already. This show had seven models of perfect, indistinguishable, evil human clone robots. Please repeat the question. This show had seven models of perfect, indistinguishable, evil human clone robots. I don't know this, dude. Seven models Mm -hmm. of human robots? Robots that look exactly like humans and are indistinguishable from humans. It's It's a show? It's a show. Battlestar Galactica? Battlestar Galactica right. is correct. The, Jesus. The Cylons. Thank you, that board game that I played and where a, a robot was disguised <laughs> as a human. And I know there are 12 models of Cylon, but the final five don't count. So oh. seven models of Cylon. All before right. somebody, like, before somebody will say that. So they're so kind of like Final Fantasies. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the last five don't count. <laughs> <laughs> this character had many evil twins, like the Valyard, Meglos, and a... A large container of goo. <laughs> oh, God. Um, a large container of goo, eh? Mm-hmm. Was the evil twin? Mm-hmm. They could create evil twins. But it also had an evil twin called the Valyard and an evil twin called Megalos. I do not know. Should I know this? I would be... Sub- I would be... You've heard, you know what it is, okay. but I would be surprised. I'm not a big fan. 
you're a relatively big fan. Oh, God. Well, who, what is it? The Doctor. Oh, uh, okay. You know what? Yeah. I was going to say I almost said that as a guess with, like, really no confidence. Well, the Valyard but... and Meglos are old who. Okay. The only one that knew it is the, the container of goo. Okay. Uh, and, a, and the bowl full of mush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the brush. Name the, ma- the, the albino twin programs in the Matrix. The albino twin programs in the Matrix. Mm-hmm. I have to name them. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. I know who you're talking mm-hmm. about. I but I cannot name them. I had to look it up. Uh huh. They're called twins. Fuck this quiz. <laughs> 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 Fuck that movie. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. any movie. Reloaded and the last one. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. The Phoebe worst. Buffay had a porn star evil twin sister named. What is Phoebe's twin's name? It is uh, Ursula. Ursula is correct. You know how I got there, right? Mad, uh, mad about you? Totally Little Mermaid. That's how I remember ah, her name. Ah, gotcha. And that's like, I remember being like in middle school and when, no, it was pro- yeah, it's probably late middle school when Ursula was introduced or maybe early high school. But mm-hmm. I remember thinking like, I'm going to remember her name because she's evil like Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Uh, well, see, I mean, and Ursula from The Little Mermaid is evil uh-huh. because she made little Josh Nance cry. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. Terrified. Just like, uh, just like. <laughs> just like your Fallout 3 character, like uh, Minecart, mm. mine, Minecart, AJ's. I don't know, really. <laughs> I just Artsy. need... Can, oh, God. Can I please just call your daughters by their real names at yeah, this point? Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. It's really hard for me. I get it. It's fine. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about Fallout 3 character <laughs> being evil, but whatever. <laughs> Ross Geller has a twin. I have a gun! <laughs> <laughs> Ross Geller has a twin that Rachel dates for an episode named... Ross has a twin mm-hmm. that he dates. He dates his own twin. No, Ross has a twin that Rachel dates. Oh, that Rachel dates. I don't remember this. Hey, how, how the hell are you going to throw two friends <laughs> questions in here? After you know on a few episodes back I said you got Maurice Ursula? instead of Marcel. <laughs> like, why are you going to do this shit to me? I thought you might have studied up. Like, I'm not going to make that mistake again. <laughs> this is essentially like, all right, I have a twins quiz in which I prepared eight Star Wars questions in which I'm going <laughs> to ask you, Tyler. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Ross's twin, mm-hmm. Russ. Russ is correct. All right. See, you knew. <laughs> I did. You made us sneak about two I, friends, and I you didn't, knew. I them. didn't know that. That was a that was an educated guess. Here's what I did. I put myself in the mind of a Friends writer, and I was like, if I wrote for Friends, what would I name Ross's evil? <laughs> Ruth. Twin? No. <laughs> Cost. Boss. <laughs> Boss. Don't Ross, touch him. Ross two. <laughs> In Dungeons and Dragons. I'm this, sorry, in what? In Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. This type of monster can be anyone's evil twin. Oh, man, that could be a whole bunch of different things but what a, in Dungeons and Dragons. What particular monster specializes in it? I mean, it could be a changeling or a mimic. It could be a doppelganger. I'll take doppelganger. All That's right. what I was looking for. Okay. I guess a mimic probably couldn't do it unless you were an inanimate object. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. But then again, yeah, well, no, I'm and not a changeling is just like. Watered down doppelganger. Yeah, half, half, half sense. doppelganger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my quiz. That's All right, the twins quiz. All right, I feel like I did. You did pretty, pretty good. You did pretty, pretty good. okay on that. That's probably a solid B. Yeah, B minus maybe. I don't know. I wasn't yeah. keeping score. Uh, but guess what? What we were given a quiz by quiz master Hell yes. bovine bear Matt Cowan. Mm-hmm. That's a long. That's a long. That's a lot yep. of syllables. Yep, love it. Would you like to take this quiz? Let's do it. Okay, Tyler. This quiz is entitled, Wario is a Man Who Wears Many Hats. Mm, all right. And Matt says, time to grow up and be somebody. This quiz is all about occupations. And you just took a shot of NyQuil. Mm-hmm. And you're not even offering to share. <laughs> you want some? It's not even no. NyQuil. It's Dollar General Sleep Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for this quiz mm-hmm. about occupations? Yep. One, Stanley, Donkey Kong 3. He's a bug man. He's a bug man. A fumigator, an ex- if you will. Exterminator. exterminator. Or fumigator was what he was in Game & Watch, so fumigator. Bug man is the answer. I'm giving it to us because yeah. that is the first thing that we said. Mm-hmm. And so he's a bug man. All right, Gordon Freeman of Half-Life, also Sheldon Cooper. Scientist. Physicist, right? Specifically, or? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but scientist, yeah. So we'll go scientist. scientist. I don't know Sheldon is theoretical physics. 
Let's, well, I think... I don't I, know. I've never played Half-Life, which I would love to do for the show sometime, because I've never never played one. <laughs> Let's fucking do it. I just recently played it. Okay. Like, I'm fucking ready to roll on that one. Okay. Um, I've just played it for funsies, because it was like, I've never played Half-Life. Which one? Did the original one you played? Yeah. Okay. Because I have Black Mesa. I'm cool. I'm going to play it, so... Play it, man. I've heard it's, like, really, really it's good. Like, it's supposed to be a pretty, you know, okay game. Yeah, it's probably yeah. all right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you just want to go general and say scientist to kind of yeah, like hedge our bets? Scientist, yeah. Theoretical physicist <laughs> is the answer. We kind of danced scientist. around there. We got I, I said theoretical physicist. Yeah, I'm giving. I'm giving it to us. Uh, Raiden's title in the Mortal Kombat series. The God. God, right? God, yeah. God of Thunder. Okay. Yeah, we'll give it. A lot of gimmies on. on this one. Gimmies. Yeah, a lot of gimmies on this one. Uh, a professional... Regulatory capture. We're, si- we're sitting around. <laughs> uh, a professional whistler. A professional whistler. A professional whistler. What occupation? What do you call that? A uh, blow boy. A blow boy. Mm-hmm. Or a blow girl. Or a blow girl. <laughs> Come yeah. on. That's my alarm. It sounds like... That is your alarm? Uh-huh. That is a soothing-ass, like... <laughs> Da, 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 da. It's time to well, let's uh, get ready for bed. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> then that makes total sense. Uh, all of my alarms sound like a hawk screaming in your ear, <laughs> <laughs> and like it's really fun now because like all of our accounts are linked at the house. So like whenever I set a calendar event, uh, like Nikki's iPad and Henry's tablet, like all every like everything in the house just starts blaring. <laughs> the first time it happened, like I forgot that they were like, first of all, like I didn't know this was gonna happen. Henry's like sleeping in his room and it's like somewhere his iPad is like turned up all the way, cranked up to the max. Mm-hmm. It's an it's a generation two iPad. Don't everyone don't get don't be thinking we're fancy or anything. Uh, <laughs> and it was like it instantly became a game of like and it was Nikki's old iPad too so like, it's totally like just like a old, it's, it's basically garbage it's garbage essentially <laughs> like he gets frustrated with it it's, <laughs> to the point where it's like i don't know if you should have this thing because like it's gonna teach you that it's okay to break electronics <laughs> Uh, and it was totally just like blaring sirens going off in the house <laughs> while um, I'm scurrying around trying to find them all and turn them mm-hmm. off while Henry sleeps. Professional whistler, is it a blow boy? Mm-hmm. It's a siffleur. Sif, siffleur. Same, S- same I- thing as a blow boy. <laughs> I'm going like, to give it to you. <laughs> Je suis la jeune siffleur. siffleur. It is actually uh, S I F F L E U R. I don't know. All right. And isn't like fleur, like flower, like fleur de lis. So what does Sif mean? Do they mean like from like Thor? Yeah, Sif, <laughs> uh, the uh, god, the god of goddess of battle. The goddess of like really looking good a lot of yeah, times. Yeah, the the goddess of the only other one to appear in Agents of Shield. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question: Mario's occupation in the original Donkey Kong arcade game. Uh, Carpenter construction. I believe, I, yeah, it's, I mean, it depends. I think construction workers safe, but it's general. I think specifically he was a carpenter. All right, carpenter, like Jesus. Carpenter, like the All messenger right. himself, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tyler, Sweet Tooth drives the work truck of this profession. The ice, ice cream, cream man. man. <laughs> so when are we going to do an episode? Oh, on Twisted Metal. On Twisted Metal. I've, God. I've not played very much Twisted Metal. I haven't played it in a long time. I mean, Josh Nance has to be on that episode, though. I remember the last time I played it. I was in Washington, D.C. in high school, on our high school trip. And it's like, we that's this trip I brought my dad's laptop with Diablo on it. <laughs> it was like, okay, once, once, once you fuckers get tired of playing Twisted Metal and go to bed, I'm going to stay up all night and fight the, the forces of evil. Mm-hmm. Tyler, yes, next question. Mm-hmm. An old-timey candle maker or a certain friend? A Chandler. Oh, yes, Chandler. Yes. Very well done. Third friend's fucking question of the mm-hmm, night. Mm-hmm. 1985 NES light gun game. Also, a simulated city at FBI training grounds. Bayou Billy. <laughs> I don't think it is Bayou <laughs> Billy. I don't know. I think it's Hogan's Alley. Hogan's Alley? I th- Sounds I'm, good. I think it's Hogan's Alley. I'm not positive. That's a job? Hogan's Alley? Oh, uh, it's not an occupation. <laughs> So either Matt done fucked up on his theme, or it is one hundred percent not. Or what's the lot game where you play sniper? Or is there a? I don't know. I don't know of one where he plays a sniper. What are you in Hogan's Alley? 
Uh, I think you're like a police officer, and it's like a training thing where it's like cardboard cutouts and shit like pop out. Police officer. But that's not the name of the NES light gun game. Oh, see, yeah. No, Matt, you don't fuck Because it says, no, maybe he didn't. Maybe we were just like maybe completely the, maybe ignorant. Maybe they're totally wrong, and then right. the, and then the we're job like, is yeah. the title. But uh, the question is, 1985 NES light gun game, also a simulated city at FBI training grounds. So what's an occupation? That doesn't sound like an occupation. I'm a, what do you want to say? Police officer? Yeah, that's the name of a city, though. So that's what it sounds like to me, is like the city and the occupation are the same thing. Well, I know, I know there's Sniper Delaware. I'm just making that up. Sniper Delaware? <laughs> that sounds like... Is that a character from Jack Ryan? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> the sexiest siren, Sniper, Sniper Delaware. Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 wah. It has to play that, too. I, I have no clue. I'm so lost on this one. All right. I'm going to choose... I'm just going to... Hogan's Alley. Alley. That's totally what it is. Is that an occupation? Excuse me, sir. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a Hogan's Alley. I let, oh. I let Hulk Hogan fuck my asshole. <laughs> I'm a Hogan's Alley. <laughs> That's a Hogan's hallway. Come on. <laughs> uh, all right. Next question. Is it what's the is, Hogan's Alley? It is. That's it's the, Hogan's Alley. That's not an occupation, Matt. Matt, Matt you done fucked up. <laughs> I appreciate the quiz, but you done fucked up. All right. Next question. Mario's occupation in Mario's Pie Cross for Game Boy. Is it Pie Cross or it's Pie Cross, right? It's pick Ross. Pick Ross. <laughs> pick Ross, not Russ. <laughs> pick Ross. <laughs> pick Ross. Uh, a, a painter? I don't know. I have no idea. I've never played the game. I haven't either. Uh, well, he's a painter in Mario Paint, at That's least on true. the box. Okay, so he's a picker. What's another costume from uh, Mario Odyssey that you've seen but don't catch the reference? Because I feel like they've done, like, every costume. He's a knight? <laughs> He's a knight. What? Yeah, let's go with knight. knight. Sure. He's a skeleton. I don't know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the answer. I've never played the game before. Knight? I have no let's idea. Th- let's go. Sure. Fuck it. Knight. knight. Right. If it's painter, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Archaeologist. Okay. That and is that is Mario, totally yeah. in Mario Odyssey. Last question. Dr. Light's job, according to Wikipedia. Hmm. mm 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 Scientist. TGI Friday's hostess? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cario's master? S- Santa Claus impersonation. You're right. Mall but Santa Claus. Professional Santa Claus lookalike. <laughs> uh, prof- Catholic priest. <laughs> professional stand-up line. What do you call it? What do you call it like, when they do like... What do you call that? Where you call it, like a do a lineup? Where you're like, all right, all you... you we're going to bring one criminal oh, in, but all the rest of you what guys... Is that, what is that profession? Professional, I don't know, Kramer. criminal lookalike. <laughs> yeah, Kramer. <laughs> Professional uh, actor who pretends like he has actor. diseases. Actor, that's what we'll call actor. it. Actor, actor. Let's do it. <laughs> Roboticist. Oh, Roboticist. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have gotten there. Yep. Nope. No idea. That's it. Thank, that's the whole quiz. Thank, thank you for nine tenths of that, Matt. Yeah, thanks, Matt. <laughs> except for that one question <laughs> that had to spin in our wheels for a really <laughs> fucking long time. Oh. Tyler. Yes, Dave. I've had a lot of fun. Yeah. I know it's been a weird... It's a good, weird one. It's been a weird journey, Mm -hmm. but I feel like it kind of harkens back to some classic Tadpog. Before we close things out, I've got Mm -hmm. some really important questions. Mm -hmm. The first of which is, Mm -hmm. if you were to give this game a beard that sums Mm -hmm. up how you feel about it, what kind of beard would it be? Uh, The beard of uh, Wa Tyler. Of Wa Tyler? Yeah. Your evil twin. My evil twin, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're always taking each other's castles and shit. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyler, mm-hmm. if you were to give this game mm-hmm. a pair of glasses mm-hmm. that sums up how you feel about it, mm-hmm. what kind of glasses would you give it? Uh, the glasses of Wadave. Of Wadave. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, you know, I didn't see that coming. Which I also see. That's why I thought about going some, something completely, completely different. Just throw you off. But oh yeah, I saw because Wario. Snuffleupagus. His, I, I didn't. I wasn't familiar with it until his Ultimate Smash, where Wario's superhero persona is Wario Man. That's as if we had our own sup, <laughs> our own superhero personas, or Tyler Man and Dave Man of the Tad Bug Podcast. We fight Nightman. Just say that's Dave some fucking lazy ass shit. <laughs> it is some lazy ass <laughs> shit, but it fits the character. Yeah, it does feel like. I mean, that's very like Wario. You know, and I think what. Wario Man on his motorcycle is faster than Supersonic in 
in <laughs> in Smash Four. That's some like that's some like Superman the Flash foot race kind of shit right yeah, there. Yep, yep. Superman can't be faster than the Flash. He's not allowed to no, be. He can't be. He's not it's allowed bullshit. to be. Yeah. The Flash has got one fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> he can vibrate. <laughs> Tyler. None of them could be Goku, though. Yeah, none of them could be no. Goku. Actually, honestly, like, after having watched, like, just Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm already like, yeah, I'm pretty sure Goku would beat Superman. Yeah, I'd love to see the new powers that Superman would drag out of Goku. It, it'd it, be good. It would be a never-ending battle, mm-hmm. is essentially, it would just be a never-ending battle. They would destroy reality before they before there was a victory. That's, that's, the, that's the answer. That is the answer to that question. Because they would, like, get one would get the upper hand, and then the other would get more powerful, gaining the upper hand, putting the other in a position where they then become more powerful. They reveal, mm. oh, I've got this power. And then it's just an arms race until they literally mm. tear the reality apart. It's a apart. rider's battle, what it would be. Yes, it's yeah. Ragnarok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know when they say the mark of the, the number of the beast? Mm-hmm. That is actually uh, a comic book issue number where that happens. <laughs> <laughs> like Goku versus Superman issue 666. Yeah. Like that is actually what brings it's about. It's in the Bible. The son of Krypton and, and, the, <laughs> and the, pure, the pure-hearted Saiyan shall bring about the end, the end times. It does. But it was all like coded, right? You know, because it, was, it wasn't like revelations like written through like prison notes or something. Can I tell you that there are so many like Bible um urban like not bible urban like just legends mm-hmm. where it's just like i've heard a thing about the bible that i don't know that it's true or not for the yeah, other the bible is coded with all these hidden prophecies like right. you have the third letter of every word and it's spelled yeah, out yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 all that stuff oh, yeah, miss betty told me that shit too so did she yeah. re- but like yeah. the part of that that never made sense to me is like yeah, but there are like a that's billion the, translations of the Bible exactly. and different. Like, I mean, She's like, that's what the sentences are kind of strange. And some are long and some are short. Uh-huh. You know, like Jesus wept was like a key to figuring out Jesus what it all, all was. Wept. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tyler. Yes, Dave. I've got another question for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you were to give this game money, mm-hmm. how much money would you give it to buy it used on average, according to PriceCharting.com? About seven seventy five. Tyler, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. actual retail value on average for Wario Land colon Super Mario Land 3 on price charting at the time of this recording is $9.21. Right. You are, you're in the range. You're in the range for sure. Spitting distance. <laughs> I like how you say that. Spitting distance. <laughs> this is my... This is my spitting distance character. <laughs> Let's. We should do. Yeah, you have a spitting distance character, and mm-hmm. I have a. I like to pee a lot outside. Uh, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's work these up. <laughs> we'll workshop. It'll be great. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Uh, excuse. I see. Really the, hone our craft. <laughs> your bathroom's available, but I'm gonna go outside and pee real quick. Is that cool? <laughs> uh-huh. That's pretty yeah. much. That's my, there you go. That's my baseline for this character. <laughs> I just spilled a monster energy drink on my. I was lap. gonna say. I hope a lot of. I hope you were mostly done with that. It uh no. <laughs> no, not gonna be able to wear these bad boys. Uh, I'm gonna like if I get pulled over on the way home, I'm gonna smell real interesting. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Did you, you, you always smell real interesting though, Dave? <laughs> did, did you bathe in methamphetamines? <laughs> Technically, yes, officer. I did. <laughs> you wanna know how much this game is new? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound like it. I do. No fucking tell it. <laughs> it does not fucking sound like Come it. On, give me that shit. One hundred seventy nine dollars and ninety eight cents. Motherfucker. Do you think this game is worth uh, the nine twenty one? Yeah. 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 Do you think I, it belongs on the NES Classic? I could see where it'd be on a Game Boy Classic. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good. I enjoyed it not as much as like Super Mario Land two. Yeah. Or Super Mario Land one, because it's very different. Well, it makes me wonder about about what we want to do next week. Because we just brought up Half Life. Well, Super Mario. Oh, so I was gonna say Super Mario Land, right? That's, just yeah, go ahead that, and knock them that all out. That was my inclination. We'll be done Super with Mario all the Land. all the Game Boy Super Mario Lands. Yeah, you want to do it? Let's do it. All right. Well, cool. we'd also talk about Castlevania as well. So yeah, we can do a Castlevania much. as well. I mean, I don't know. I'm and just, then, those are all my. And then I know I don't know how far you are in uh, Shining Force. I could do a Shining Force Final Conflict episode, and not this upcoming one, mm-hmm. but the following. Okay. If you want to plan for that, so it'd probably be easiest to do Mario Super Super uh, Super Mario Land then. Yeah, I'm good with that. 
Because it, you know, it'll or, take you a while you to would, do Half Life, or you wouldn't have to play Half Life. Yeah, because I don't know, playing a game like Half Life might, might take me a little while. Because it's like it's a dated shooter for yeah. sure. I mean, I don't want to like show my hand or anything. It's a good game, mm-hmm. but there are moments in it where it's like, eh. yeah, it's it's just old, you know. Yeah, like like Duke Nukem. Not that bad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get that rough. Uh, and that was like also, I, I can't remember if I mentioned it on our Duke Nukem episode, but I think a lot of the problems I had with Duke Nukem was because I had played Half-Life not too long prior to it. Uh, okay. So it's like Makes really, sense. yeah, it's tough. Makes sense. Yeah. That's a Super Mario Land. Sounds good. All right, cool. I'm on board. Thanks for listening, everybody. Um, you can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube. So miss next episode, Super Mario Land. And maybe Spotify it. soon. That would be maybe wonderful. Spotify soon. I'd love that. I put in a request. It's tough for us because we are not on like a podcast carrier mm-hmm. like Libsyn or something mm-hmm. like that because we do this independently and don't, you know, pay like Podbean or something like mm-hmm. that. It's harder for us to get on there. Yeah. So they're going to review our podcast. Hopefully not this oh, one. Oh, so no. <laughs> right? Yeah. We're out. We're out. <laughs> yeah, we are done. Man, us and Taylor Swift just fucking we tried. Hard, hard knock live. We tried. <laughs> I, stay, I stand with Taylor. It's time to get it. <laughs> But I don't know. Maybe one day you'll find us on uh, Spotify. You can find us on Google Play in the meantime. Oh, that's true. Yeah. All right. Google Play. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Getting yeah. sleepy? No. Just coffee. Yeah. You're trying to wrap this up so I can take my jeans off I'm that are trying. soaked in monster energy. Oh, I've drink. been trying to. I've waited for you to take your jeans off yeah. this whole time. I've been baptized. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, entourage style <laughs> in, in Monster <laughs> Energy drink. Um, what do I even say next? Hey, we're on Facebook. Yeah, we got a Facebook group mm-hmm. face for for uh, Tadpog, and then hey, Tadpog Nation. So yeah, the even better. We're on Facebook. We're the we're the, super the excited shit, yeah. about it. We're so man. Oh, I'm so <laughs> I love I love shit. <laughs> Tadpog Nation is a really good group, though. It is. Yeah, it's it always. Group. I love how active it is. Yep. It's constantly surprising yep. to me. It is amazing. If you're not in the Tadpog uh, Nation Facebook group, you 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 really are missing out. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you really are missing yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I actually uploaded something to, to Instagram, so. I'll Plug that tapog underscore podcast on Instagram. Cool. Um, you can find us on Patreon, mm-hmm. which I'm not really gonna plug because I feel really super bad about uh, the state of Patreon right Man, now. <laughs> she's just been so busy. <laughs> I mean, that's and it's partially on me. Like, oh, it's work on me just too. So I mean, busy. you've been. I know it just. We're both. Life yeah. is in the way. It's in the way right now. But we haven't forgotten about bonus episodes. Uh, we're going to work on it. We're going to get it worked out. And then we've also run into a problem with, like, finding people to play the board game with us. So yeah, we finally found two people, so we're good. Oh, we're good. I yep, didn't know yep, that. Yep, 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 okay, yep. good. Okay, good. That actually makes me feel better. Because yeah. I kind of just thought we were like, ah, this is a lost cause. No, no. We, <laughs> found, we found two people that are good. Uh, that we have to work around their schedules this month. But that, that'll definitely happen. Okay, awesome. Really good, though. Great, great. Yeah. I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, if you want to call us yeah you can do that you can call us at 270-883-2555 and hey hey I love our beloved Adam that's why he's beloved yeah I love beloved Adam but too but people are grumbling about how much Adam calls this is an ongoing thing yeah, this has been an this is ongoing thing. and do you know how to fix that fucking call <laughs> if Adam's the only one calling us, of course you're hearing Adam. Don't bitch about how much Adam calls if you're not calling. Fucking call in. That way it spreads the Adam shit out. Please and thank you. Let, help yourself. Help. Let me help you. That's uh, 270-883-2555. And he gives it's the pretty. best blowjobs. So it can't be They're mad really about good. that. They're it's really so good. They're really good. Oh, uh, let's see. Our theme song is moved by Sigma Mortar. I've linked that track in the show to mm-hmm. How do you want to post this one out, Dave? Like Prospector Wario. All right. So until next time. Tropical Capricorn. Capricorn. My, my God. <laughs> what? My, this what kind of... Pro- gold, what? gold Rush Wario. What kind of God-fearing Prospector are you? Commence the jiggling. <laughs> Blasphemy like that? Yeah. Right. We're better than you, Doug Benson. <laughs> you hear me? There's your stinger calling out Doug Benson. <laughs> this is Phil Hawkins speaking, and I am better <laughs> than you, Doug Benson. Uh, earlier, I just meant to tell you there is a Trailer Park Boys movie called Don't Legalize It, where Canada's making a move, and Ricky does not want it to happen. 
because he won't make any money because he sells weed. Yeah. So he goes on a big political crusade to keep it illegal. How is uh, how old is that? I don't remember. But it had like years. It's yeah, been out. It's yeah. been years. It would have had to have been, I guess. That was a silly question. I forgot he died. That guy died. I don't know. He's still alive. Like the villain in the series died last oh, year. Oh, okay. And they're still making the series. Like it's still. Oh, really? Alive. It's still going. The next season is due out some other time, and they ended it. Did the villain regenerate like Doctor Who? <laughs> like, wouldn't that be great if they just that threw that out there? Like- <laughs> <laughs> they like, didn't even like make a joke about it or anything. It's just, just <laughs> it's just playing so like exactly like yeah, Doctor Who. Well, they ended it with them taking PCP and ended it as a cartoon. So I think they will animate him until his death and then and go then back go to back. regular. Yeah. <laughs> or do you think it'll start back up and they'll be like, wow, oh, that was weird. What happened to the villain guy? I guess he died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Lee, he died. That's it. All right. Next t- next week on Trailer Trailer Boys. <laughs> Is that the name of that show? Trailer Park Boys. Trailer it's Trailer Boys, I'm pretty sure. Trailer, yeah, trailer it's Boys. Parks and Rec. It's Trailer Boys. 